Good evening, ladies and gents, and welcome. It is Friday night here at Center Stadia, and we're going to get our drink on today. Um, we're going to be streaming some 100 Days, which has just released uh, literally yesterday, actually, but I couldn't do this by myself. So, obviously, I had to bring in the man of many Pinos himself, Mr. Richie. How are you doing? Good evening, sir. Well, if anyone's seen some of our previous works, then no, I like a glass of white wine. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're just going to make it a pretty chill one, to be honest, aren't we? It's, uh... Yeah. We were all nice and stressed out yesterday with me and Chris playing Resident Evil. So now let's just lay back. Let's just chill back and have start a vineyard. Yeah. So we're just, uh, I think we're both on the red tonight as well. So we're just going to yeah. kick it back and have a bit of fun with this. But uh, just want to give a quick shout out to everyone in chat who's here so far. So give us a quick wave, everyone who's here. Nice little wave. I'm going to throw one out there too. And then we'll uh, we'll kick things off with, as I say, 100 days. Uh winemaking sim i'm kind of interested in this actually I'm, I'm 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 buzzing for it i'm buzzing for it already just i think me and you both when like we first heard it like drop us out for the podcast like that looks pretty cool i want to play that game. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely for sure all right again just sort out some volume for richie there that should do it for him like i say as usual folks if you need anything tweaking if anything needs to be picked up please do let me know in chat because uh I'm not the guy usually behind the controls here, so this is a first for me. Well, not first, but hey. Not first. It's not first. Uh, yeah, I'm on the night in crimes today. Richie, what are you drinking? I am drinking... I'm going to butcher this pronunciation. Casillero de, del Diablo. Del Diablo! Fantastic. I love it. Excellent. Excellent. Chilean 2019 vintage. Mm. And it's Cabernet Sauvignon. Oh. Oh, it's good. So... Let's have a look at this then. So what have we got? We've got a we've got a story mode, endless mode, and challenge mode. You can see the continue option at the top. Now, I must admit, like before all of this, um, I did jump into the endless mode just because I wanted to sort of get to grips with things, um, as as naturally you want to do with these types of games, don't you? Really, you just want to sort of um, have a bit of a play around, I suppose. But we're going to do a bit of story mode tonight. Um, see how that goes as well. But before we actually jump into that, um, what I wanted to do was I just wanted to show you some of the customization settings, which is pretty cool. So when you first load up the game, the first thing you're presented with is this edit screen right here. And you have the opportunity to name your company. So you can name your company and, as you can see, pick a logo. I did come now. I did cheat. I did cheat. I'm sorry. My bad. We're not claiming this is the first look, though. <laughs> so it's not cheating. We just said we do a stream of it. <laughs> I mean, the title of it is Cork Dork's 100 Days First Look, but hey. <laughs> oh, well. My it's apologies. Richie's first look. It's Richie's first look. So It actually isn't. <laughs> I played about half an hour last night. Really? Okay. Yeah. Mm. So we're going to... Um... We're going to drink, we're going to make some um, some mad decisions, and hopefully you guys in chat out there will actually be able to help us name some different uh, mm. different uh, different bottles that we're going to produce. Get I like some the logo you come up with, it's quite nice. Yeah, I thought I'd go with the uh, the Stadia colours. Um, you're sort of limited to a different selection of uh, prints, I guess, is what you're going to go on the front of it. You've got castles, naturally. Um, yeah, I went with the purple castle. and Purple castle. Purple castle vineyard. I was tempted to go with like a, the the orange goose or something like that as well, but I settled on I settled on this nondescript sort of um, yeah. generic looking design. I thought it looked quite quite pretty, really. So, um, quick shout out to people in chat. We've got Dry here. We've got Ilsium. We've got Holly. We've got Brendan. We've got Kumna. Thank you very much, everyone, for tuning in. Hope you're all well. Give us a nice like if you haven't already. Let's get into story mode. Hope you've all got your own glasses with you as well. Like I say, it's pretty you, chill. Holly. Pretty chill. Yeah, except Holly. Holly definitely shouldn't be drinking. I'm actually doing this to taunt her, as she says in chat. Mmm. So nice. Oh, yeah, I know. I'm going to be talking more about what we're drinking than actually about the yeah. game, I think, tonight. It's been a while since I've drank uh, the red. Yeah. Uh, we're working for a boring company. I don't want to work for a boring company. I want to work for a vineyard. Okay, so the board, repre uh, the board represents the, the day, time. Each activity occupies a spe specific space, but you can rotate the cards to optimize the work. Right, okay. So the idea here is you've got this grid in the middle of the, um, in the, middle of the screen. You can see on each of the cards that it has sort of like a, um, a Tetris-style layout. Yeah. Um, you just have to drag it in and place it. 
you don't have to drink both bottles. I mean, I do have a backup. I did have a backup depending on how how we get along tonight. I only have the one bottle because I do need to be up in the morning. <laughs> All right. But, but I do have some beers downstairs, so we'll see how it goes. Interesting. So I'm actually opting to play with mouse and keyboard for this as well. Um, I figured I'd actually... And maybe, I never even considered playing this sort of game with controller. To be no. Honest, but I suppose you could. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Uh, right, so, um, once you place your tile down, uh, the, the, the only other thing you can really do is just bottom right corner, you've got this little button to progress to the next step, really. As you can see, uh, we've got the tile says Company 1, uh, Boring Company 1. There you go, you can see it now, I've rotated it. That just means it's going to take one turn to execute, so let's execute it. Okay, check my inbox. Now what do we do? Let's check the inbox I again. <laughs> All right, we've checked our inbox twice, as you would do at work. Yep, that's two days of work right there. Absolutely. Two hours gone at the very least. Yeah. Uh, do I know if the game works well with controller? Well, I might actually try it out later on. Um, I imagine it might just be the case of, if you've got the cards at the yeah. bottom, you probably almost D-pad through or analog stick through, select one and just rotate it. Can't yeah, I... Um... I'm thinking Steam World Quest had like a kind of similar layout at the bottom where you could get different cards and you could just scroll through them and play play them on the board. So it should kind of work. Yeah, yeah. It's not it's not fast twitch stuff where you're going to need probably need to like constantly like move quickly. Yeah, it's it's more timber. So even if the controls aren't great. You should get used to them with plenty of time. Yeah, I think that's one of the things that I picked up quite um, quite early on in this sim as well, is that I, I like that turn-based element of it that feels like a lot of pressure is taken away from you in that sense. Yeah. So it's not like um, it's not like the sims where you have to wait for a particular, or an RTS where you're waiting for a particular thing to finish building. You could just sort of take your time with it, sit back and look. All right. So some, act some activities have special results. Uh, press the flashing orange button to view it. Click. All right. We have a letter. letter. Open it. My dearest Emma. All these computers in the center of the letter. My name is Beppe. And Beppe. Winemaking has ruled my life as a tyrant, devouring any free time I had until I have reached the end of my journey. Still, That's still in the profession here. <laughs> there is a long list of winemakers who would be happy to inherit my lands. But this time... I will rebel against what is logical or dear. Naturally. While we need to Hello there, Unitrix. Unitrix. Hi. Room for innovative solutions. Newcomers to fill our ranks. I want you to run my business. <laughs> Holly just casually dropping in the mother load cheat code right there. <laughs> no, 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 no. That we know. Your vineyards await. Hey, so this 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 person, this Beppe uh has now just come out of the woodwork and just said you know what here's 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 a she's vineyard like, she's like <laughs> i've spent my whole life making wine i hate making wine i'm not going to give it to the guys who want to make wine i'm going to give it to some guy who works in a boring company that's yeah. what's happened so far i've decided you random person can inherit this today congratulations hi anna anna's your next door neighbor hi nice to me <laughs> It's great to finally meet you and put a face to a name. I've heard so much about you from the old man. Oh, oh have you? The old man. Yeah, I'm getting Legend of Zelda vibes already. Yeah. Gonna give us a sword oh, and send us on a quest. Off, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you everything it's about it. Just no you go alone. He's a glass. <laughs> Take this. <laughs> Why? I don't mind if I do. All right. It's very kind of yo. Very exhausted. How keeps, is your journey? She keeps talking over us. Mm. All right. So how do I run this place? The letter wasn't particularly clear. I mean, yeah, I, I wouldn't have the first idea about what to do. Surely you just plant some seeds, water it, let it grow. Take some grapes, put them in the ground, and then bottles of wine pop up. <laughs> and yeah. You take a label on them and take them to Tesco's and go, Mr. Tesco, would you like some wine? <laughs> Mr. Tesco, <laughs> would you buy this from me? Uh, so the old man has left some instructions for us to follow, but he was a bit concerned you would feel overwhelmed to read everything in one go. Pass his notes on to you one by one when the time feels right. He's entrusted me with this task and I shall oblige. Some more handwritten notes and letters. 
Not very tech savvy. Yeah. I mean, if his name is Old Man. Yeah. Tio. Okay. I have heard that um, the the tutorial for for this game is um, is relatively straightforward. It's relatively um, unassuming of you, so it helps you quite yeah. like grasp the mechanics fairly simply. Really, I imagine this game is it's a simple to learn but difficult to master style game. Yeah, but again, I don't, I, don't, I also don't think these games should be particularly challenging because if you think about you know target audience for it really yeah. it's probably not going to be your uh your hardcore competitive gamer is it really yeah it's one of that it'd be nice if there's enough depth to keep it in keep it interesting but you don't want to like scare people away it's, yeah as i said it, this is a chill stream so we want the game to be quite chill as chill well. stream folks chill stream smell the air girl fill your lungs with it absorb it welcome to do they put manure in, in wine fields, vineyards? Would you pronounce that as lan lange? Lange. 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 Help us out, folks. Lang. <laughs> Make yourself at home. All right. Here we go. Howdy. We have nine squares of vineyard. We do have nine squares of vineyard. ETO? That would be me. Yes. All right. Help us out here, boy. Help us out. The old man has instructed us all. Yeah. He knows. He is wise. <laughs> the wise and all-seeing old man. Yeah. All right. He basically left me sitting on a big pile of junk. All right. You should be a little bit more grateful. Yeah. You've inherited land and property. In this age, yeah, that yeah. that's 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 great. <laughs> from well, from Beppo's letter, we've inherited a vineyard, Ooh. which is quite in demand. So. Let's just sell it and go back to our boring job. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I named my last houseplant Dodo because Dodos became extinct, and that is precisely the fate of all my houseplants. Is it similar to Farm guy? Sim? Oh, no, that was us, wasn't it? It was. Um, no green thumb. No. It's, I think this is a very different game to Farm Sim. Very, very Farm different. Farm Sim is very much a first-person shooter. <laughs> No, yeah. But we were in first person, so it's, like, <laughs> it's not that top-down isometric style. And everything was... In farm thing, you're getting in the tractors to do the work. Unless you're hiring people, this seems to be more strategy-based. Yes. I suppose it's resource management in a way as well, because you've got to yeah. pay for things. You've got to position things correctly. Um, the other thing that you can see on the cards there as well is the weather. It can only actually be performed on certain certain weather days. So I suppose it's sort of like you draw cards, you collect the cards, you play the cards at the, t at the right time. That's you weed. Keep an eye on the weather forecast. We do. Right. So the first thing I want you to do is try and steal a duck. Try to steal the duck. Okay, I'm yeah. clicking the duck. Bizarre way of putting it, but yeah, in a nutshell. Right, let's pretend the weeds are my house plants. It'll work like a charm. So, we can see right here, we actually do have a plot of land right here with grapes on it. Look at this. Look at our grapes right here. Yeah, inspecting our grapes. You can rotate them. Again, we can zoom all the way in. Look at those grapes. Good, Look at them. Grapes, Some of them aren't even connected. <laughs> Other grapes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but you can see all the different diseases and things that they might actually get, so we have to be prepared for that as well. Look at the treatments. Uh, but we can actually see, depending on these grapes, uh, the pH level. We could see what the ground is made of. Uh, we can even see how sugary or acidic they are. Hmm. We're going to get real in-depth here, folks. We're going to get real in-depth. So... Let's weed this plot of land. So even though we drop the weeding card in the middle here, it applies to these outer sort of plots, basically. So whatever we do in the center applies to all of these on the outside. So again... Yeah, it's just a playing board, not the actual field. Yeah, basically. So again, we can place this wherever it actually fits. Uh, we can rotate it. Uh, obviously, if I try to go over the edge, you can see the, the bit that says Brick 02 is outside the bounds, so that doesn't work. So we'll just drop it right there. Okay. 
Next turn. Actually, we're sitting on a neat 35,000 euros as well, which is pretty, pretty snazzy. Not bad, considering we just inherited the farm. Definitely. What would you do if you inherited the farm? Like, yeah, yeah, I'll take it. Oh, by the way, it's in a one million pounds worth of debt. Good luck. <laughs> uh, just give me one second, folks. All right, there we go. Okay. So, uh, we've taken one turn. We've got another turn to use this. Let's crack on and weed the plants. There we are. All right, Theo, what's next? Actually, should I be drinking this before we've actually harvested anything? Is that right? Yeah. yeah. Screw it. Yeah, there were some supplies left, and now we need to know what we're making. <laughs> we didn't only inherit the vineyard, but we actually inherited all of the grapes and all of the wine yeah. with it. Well, There's a cellar load. Balls. Yeah. Exterminate! Okay. Let's crop thin. Crops on a diet? I mean, I actually don't know what crop thinning is, so... I'm thinking it's you go through and take off, like, the subpar parts of the crop. Ah, okay, so you're actually looking at the grapes that yeah. look a little bit manky, a little bit disheveled. Yeah. Cool. You get rid of them, so there's a chance for, like, better grapes to grow, probably. Uh... Cool, okay. Baby steps, yep. Oh, yeah, there we go. So basically, you remove some of the flowers and or grape clusters on the grapevine. <laughs> Empty the cellar to make room for the new wine. Absolutely, you'll see him. Absolutely. Okay. So the technique is used, or the procedure is used, to achieve yield and quality goals. It'll allow you to modify the vine balance. I suppose... Uh, oh, we're going we're gonna to learn so much about this here. <laughs> I suppose, in a way, what, what I'm thinking about is, if you've got a, if you've got a grape vine, and you've got a lot of grapes growing from it, it's probably going to take up more resource more nutrients from the ground and so on so the idea is you want to balance it out nicely so everything gets fed i'm trying to think of a better word for that than fed but i just saw a tractor just phase through a lorry there i <laughs> thought they were going to crash into it and just went straight through each other <laughs> <laughs> the collision detection in this game is terrible ah well that's what drinking does to you all right, so a priest from a nearby parish was summoned to the vineyards to talk some sense into them, saving their souls from the blasph blasphemous act of wasting perfectly good grape clusters. Okay. After sacrifice some flowers and grape clusters to the benefit of those that are left. Correct. It's yeah, all about the yield. Apparently, um, performing exorcism on the grapes didn't help. <laughs> <laughs> to strive to seek, to find, and not to yield. Tennyson in the grave in the vineyard, in the graveyard. The grapeyard, the grid, the barely had one glass. Okay, okay. The yield is a measure of the amount of grapes or wine that is produced. The yield is the fact. The yield. <laughs> the yield. Okay. So hang on. How can we actually calculate the yield? Then is there some way I can actually look at that before I do this? Because I'd like to see what the change is before and after doing it. Maybe the inspect grapes button, see what that does. Uh no. Oh right. <laughs> I mean it just yeah. it just spins my grapes right round. Richie, oh, right yeah. round. Spin my grapes <laughs> right round. Ah, no, I didn't want to do that. Oh no. <laughs> I'm breaking the game. We're not supposed to be at this point yet. Um, okay. Oh, hang on, hang on. Uh, planting... Right. Suckering. Pruning, suckering, weeding, crop thinning. Crop thinning. Okay, crop thinning. Yeah. Oh, right, I can buy the... So, I can buy the cards? Hang on. So, when I clicked on crop thinning, it brought this yeah. here. Maybe, maybe once you're out of the tutorial bit, we can start Perhaps. buying okay. cards. Okay, okay, yeah. okay, okay. I'm getting ahead of myself, folks. Yeah, I think either way we have to crop. Yeah, this we're going to do it. Let's go. Yeah. Yes. Next turn. There we go. Ooh. Autumn. Journal update. Autumn transforms the color palette of your vineyard, turning everything into a shade of green into a vibrant yellow, red, and brown. Rain will become a habitué of this season. 
tapping gently on the leaves as they complete their life cycle. I feel like we have to just sit back and enjoy the story as it's written in the journal. On certain days, fog will pay you a visit, covering the vineyard with its velvety cape, hiding everything from sight. A few bell towers and ancient castles scattered on the on the nearby hills will emerge from this milky ocean. I don't, I don't like that term there. <laughs> milky ocean. What, milky ocean? <laughs> yeah. I, I don't like the fact that we need a castle, an ancient castle. Ancient castles, in my recent experience, are pretty bad. They usually have dungeons or chests and Vampires other things. And yeah. werewolves yeah. and big, that, big ladies. Large and... ladies, yeah. Evening, Gimon. Thank you for joining us tonight. All right, let's skip forward once more. Then we've got one more round to do on this uh, on this crop thinning malarkey. Yeah. All right, so it looks like we're ready to harvest now. Naturally, naturally, harvest is where we want to be at. It's autumn. So it it's is time to harvest. It is. It's harvest season. Harvest 101. You need to hire an anologist to complete this task. It's the most complex and delicate activity you ever perform in your vineyard. There's no room for mistakes. Okay. Just call Gianni. He's the best in the area. For this for the harvesting. Apparently. Is, see, I think we should just go find the old man and get the sword. <laughs> what, slice? Our way through. Yeah, yeah. Works in those types of games, doesn't it? I mean, for certain, we know that if we were to attack the vines, we'd end up getting hearts back. Or yeah. something to... <laughs> Alright, let's go for it. Or so rupees. Rupees, perhaps? Yeah. Alright, so we can take this. This is a full one, so we can just drop that straight in. It's going to take three turns for this. Let's go! One! Ooh. Is this old man? I don't know. Or is Maybe this Gianni? It might be Teo, and he's just got old. <laughs> he's got the curious case of Benjamin Button. <laughs> yeah. Apparently, you can stop for a briefly to speak to your neighbor, otherwise the wine will be ruined. <laughs> yeah, here he is, lecturing us about yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You've moved here from London. With no understanding. <laughs> alright. Okay, alright. You don't have to be nationalist about the fact that... Mind you, he only said she's from London. It doesn't specify that we're in a different country. But we don't... Surely we can't... I think there's only pockets of the UK where you can grow grapes. Yeah, I... Considering it's the currencies in euros, I'm assuming yes. France. Yes, good shout. Yeah. Mind you, with names like Tio and Gianni, Italy? Italy, yeah. 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 I don't like how they keep referring to him as old man in capital letters. Yeah. Is he the boss? Is he, like, the final boss for this game? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm wondering. Is like... <laughs> He turns out to be your rival uh, winemaking company. Yeah. Okay, so, harvest. As you may have guessed, it's the process by which wine grapes are picked. You can do this by hand or mechanically. It's going to take a while. Thank you, Kumna. It's an Italian studio. That makes a lot of sense now. Okay. Yeah. Okay, it's a long and tiring process, and yes, you have to endure this every year. It's also my favorite bit, and the most rewarding experience as an anologist. So please don't spoil it with your amateurish banalities. We hired you because <laughs> we're amateurish. What's if wrong we with went, you? I we wouldn't have hired you. Can't even. You are slow as yeah. sloth. Can we fire this guy? <laughs> like, I. I'm sure surely there's another someone around. It might not be as good, but it's more pleasant to work with. Yeah, certainly. All right, let's go. Uh, I'm going to quickly just throw the game volume up a little bit more as well, because it's pretty pretty chill. Yeah. All right. Just so everyone can hear the sounds. All right, one more turn. Nice and easy. Let's go. All right, let's harvest. We've got good grapes. Barbara 2021. Wow. 7,000 pounds. 
of grape. Why is it pounds? I don't know. Let's vinify them. Yeah. Okay. All right. So out of these grapes, it looks like we can get 714 gallons of wine. Okay. That seems a decent amount of wine. It does. We can put it in our fiberglass tank. It's a decent night in that. <laughs> okay. Oh, right. Okay. Oh, so, so we can either just sell the grapes. Ah, so okay. Okay. So I guess if we end up with our tanks being completely full and we've still got grapes being yeah. harvested, we could still do something with them. That's good. Cool. All right. Let's do it then. Crushing. Crushing Barbara. <laughs> Not sure uh, that's the right way to go about this, but let's do it. No sarcasm this time. I'm honestly blown away by the fact you're still here. Yeah. It's been three days. Absolutely. Yeah, three. That's a good shot, actually. Three <laughs> days. It's been three days. What? <laughs> Crushing. The crushing realization that there's still a long road ahead and I've run out of sunflower seeds. All right. <laughs> this is a gentle process. Don't crush them like a barbarian. Oh, there's my plans out. <laughs> I'm instantly taken back to the video of the grape lady, the famous YouTube one where she just falls flat on her face. Wow. Okay. Yep, fine. That's fine. Let's crush some grapes! I don't know why I keep rotating all of these, by the way. I could just drop them straight in. There we go. Yeah. Crush. It makes more sense when we've got more, more cards to play with. We've actually got to try and fit them. Ooh, it's winter. And it's 2022, folks. It's the first of winter. <laughs> winter has come. Okay. We've got some diagrams. It's a lot to take in. Pruning. Pruning. I wonder if what it's actually doing is um, whether it needs to just sort of be uh, whether it's just running th you through all of the different types of cards um, yeah. just to give some I context to how it works within the process. Yeah, I think it's running you through, like, one cycle of winemaking. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Don't worry, I can help you. Let's prune it. Oh, wait, hang on. Uh, uh, that's yeah, a... Can't. Okay, so that's a four. So we need to find a way of getting another tile. So how do we get extra tiles? Okay, right. Ooh, here we go. Okay, technologies. Excellent. So pruning is an operation that requires experience and time. We need a bigger board. Excellent. Open the menu. Select the technology panel. Uh, okay. And select to upgrade the board. So, menu. Technologies. Oh, wow. This is... Get oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. There's a graph now, Richie. There's a graph. Yes. <laughs> I like a good graph. <laughs> All right, and we want to do a board upgrade. Okay, so we've got... This is one tech tree, so this is all purely just board upgrades. Yeah. Uh, tool shed. Ooh, Chardonnay. Cleaning room. An old crawler tractor. Winery. Warehouse. A shop. Onboard shop. On-site on shop. All right, let's get this upgrade. We need that. We'll get some vineyard too. We well. will do. Absolutely. 500 euros <laughs> to upgrade the board. We've got like oh, tw it, 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 whoa, whoa! I expected the second one to be five hundred as well, not twenty grand. Uh, don't yeah. think, don't think we'll go for that one just yet. Don't think we'll go for that. Okay. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. Interesting shape it shows. Uh, I thought it might have just given us the opportunity. Yeah. Okay. So pruning, right? <laughs> I'm glad you asked because, mate, how on earth did you think we could work together? Okay. They're just, they're just seeking the perfect wine. That is, that is their goal in life. That's why he's so you miserable. You know how the other, no, no, I don't. It's the best <laughs> one I've ever 
All right, let's prune our vines. So we go back to the vin we go back to the vine, we prune the stuff we don't want on there. Okay. Okay. Princess Pruner. It's when we start having to think about the pH of the soil and Oh my I'm so, I'm ready for this. Yeah. I'm ready for this. You have to sit there with spreadsheets and calculate it all out. <laughs> yeah. mm. I think I prefer 43.2% clay and a 17.8% loam. In a nutshell, less buds is better quality of wine. More buds means more quantity. Okay, so it's a nice balance we're going to look for then. Less buds. Yeah, we want mass, mar mass market. Mass market. Lots, We've got to sell some of that. Of cheap wine. Some of that as does oh. as does own oh. smart price piece okay. of shit wine. Right. Everyone knows the trick to selling wine is to put a fancy label on it. Cork, not mm -hmm. screw top, top, because it makes it look more fancy. And then you put the price, you make it a £10 bottle of wine, and then people who know nothing about wine will buy it to act like they know something about wine. That's the trick. Okay, so what you're telling me there, Richie, is we need lots of buds. <laughs> yes. Very high on the buds, so we... Well, actually, we just got, if we go high, we, only, we don't get any minuses on quality. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay, so we got, we've got yeah. plus for ripeness and plus for quantity. Yeah. Quality is... Even. Balance. Yeah, Balance. Fine. Let's do it. All right. It's peasant wine. We're making peasant wine. Peasant wine. wine. <laughs> Cheap, it's nice. white girl wasted wine. <laughs> it's nice, but um, a wine enthusiast is probably just going to go, eh, it's okay. All right. Hello again, London. Alas, we meet again. Okay. I've dusted off my old notebooks for the occasion. I've also... I uh, got a whole bag of sunflower seeds to chew on whenever I feel overwhelmed by your incompetence. We're going to ferment it. We're going to go for it. I am rubber, you are glue. You know what? Nice. I've got a new role. No eating in the vineyard. <laughs> Sorry, you're going to have to take your sunflower seeds outside. Okay. So when you crush the wine, uh, crush the grapes, be gentle, burst the skin, release the sugary juice, expose them to the yeast. Yeast will now convert grape sugars into alcohol, and that's what we're here for tonight. That's what we're here for. Okay. Yes. <laughs> right, once this process gets started, I'm going to cheers to everyone in chat, but until then, the glass stays put. The glass just stays right there. Okay. Sugar meets yeast, and bam, here's the wine. Fermentation will affect the body, the sweetness, the tannin, and the acidity of your wine. Depending on the grape variety, there are different optimal values for each of these characteristics. Okay. Sweetness and tannin are influenced by the duration of the process. Okay. So... Okay. So what I can see so far from here is the shorter the fermentation, it looks like it's going to knock off sweetness. I would have thought it would be the other way around. Mm. Because fermentation it comes, uses up the sugars. Yeah, that's, so that's what I would have thought. Okay. Let's have a look. Okay. So your optimal values would be tannin, 2 out of 10, and sweetness, 2 out of 10. Okay. I mean, that's exactly what we're going to get from this right here. Yeah. Slice, you okay, okay, all yeah. Alright, so yeah, we are right. Okay. Oh. We've got a little candy thing there. Yeah, I wonder why. I wonder what that means. Oh! That's pretty cool. So the longer you ferment oh, it, yet yeah, yeah. the vault the alcohol the alcoholic content goes up as well. We like that. We like that. Okay. Let's crack on. So it's gonna take three turns to do this. Oh wait, actually I didn't want that. I want to get two and two two and two. Two out of ten and two out yeah. of ten. There we go. Yeah. All right, let's do that. What's the wine data button do? Wine data? Oh, it, it gives us the actual stats here of how many grams per liter. <laughs> Good quality wine. Good quality wine. All right. So, uh, pump over, punch down. Nothing. No tannin will be extracted. Few tannin. Some tannin. Okay. 
a lot of talent. So we actually just want to go for uh, nothing or few. It really doesn't matter. Yeah, I'll go with nothing. because Yeah. If it's not going to affect our line, let's not do anything to it. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, that adds a lot there. So, yeah, we definitely want to try and balance that out nicely right there. Let's go. All right. So, two turns. It's going to take two turns. Let's ferment. All right. We've pruned. And now we've fermented. Excellent. It's time to press. I'm not tired, I'm fermented. <laughs> Come on, that mate. Hey, you liked it. <laughs> That's what we're all about, folks. There's wine puns. Okay. Wait, hang on, what? So... I thought we've already crushed the grapes. Yeah, but we only crush them gently. So oh, just we've just the, gently yeah. caressed those grapes. So fermented inside the grape. Right, so okay. Just a chance to get in, to permeate. Hi, Jem. <laughs> this game, but all choices are made by crowd choice, Ilsium says. Yeah, yeah. I could see that, that being would, interesting. <laughs> that would be fun. All right. That would just be me and you sat back here having a chat while we have... <laughs> we Pretty much, I mean, I mean, I'm all for that. Implement it. Oh, yeah, I'm not against it. <laughs> Broken Arm, make sure you get that done, yeah? Uh, crowd choice for this game. Just let chat take control. We get a night off. We can just sit back, drink, and talk to chat. <laughs> yeah, that's fair, Dre. That's fair. It's quite It's quite wordy. It's quite wordy. I appreciate that. Um, okay, so... Uh, increase the press intensity and you get more wine. Okay, decrease it and your wine will be of better quality. So, we want as much wine as possible. Uh, we are balanced. We don't want ever. We don't oh, want to okay. wine. Okay, so you're changing your tune now, are you? Because before we no, were just I, talking about shipping this cheap it's shit. It's balanced. Ba yeah, it, yeah, okay. <laughs> it has to be drinkable. Because if it's not drinkable, <laughs> then people won't come back. Okay, here we go. Uh, so... Um, the press intensity will also affect the value of two characteristics, body and tannin. So, uh, we should be going for body value of 8 out of 10. Okay. Was he just being ageist then? What? How am I supposed to I get out at 8 out of 10 here, fucking... The ta Like, the tannin we were supposed to aim for 2 out of 10. Uh... Uh, I suppose this is where the strategy comes in, so we could have, like, took out more tannins or something. Perhaps, uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's a good shout, actually. Yeah. That's a very good point. So, what we want to try to do is we want to try to... There we go. Get to the point where tannin is... Um, yeah. It's basically 50%. Alright, we'll just go for that for now. Okay. I don't like how you place that, to be honest. <laughs> You should have placed it one square over either way. Yep. Yeah. This is why I don't play Tetris with <laughs> yeah. Alright, let's go. Oh, wow. Oh, no. Three cards now. Uh, okay. Yep, yeah, we're used to the rain. Problem is, we can't do <clears throat> most of these things because they all have. Surely bottling's done inside. Yeah. It looks like it's the only one that's actually sort of highlighted as well. Yeah. Okay. Let's bottle it. What? Oh, I didn't even get to pick the card up before he came. Once the bottles are sealed, that is it. That is it. Alright, folks, we might be at the point now, for those of you following along in chat, where we get to name this uh, name this wine. So I'm, I'm interested in any get sort of... In. Any suggestions. Otherwise, we're going to pick a random person from chat and we're just going to slap a label on it with your name on it. How about that? How about that? There you go, Richie. Is that 
good enough for you. Okay, here we go. So, here's the bottle. Yeah. So we've said before we need to have a cork. It needs to be corked. It needs that, to be corked. Because everyone knows good wines are corked. And okay. it needs to actually cork and that's some fair. QQ wine, Vlad. <laughs> so if we actually look through as well, it also changes the cost of the bottle as well. So the synthetic is the cheapest. Uh, high quality synthetic. Okay. A screw cap. A glass stopper. We're going to go for traditional cork. Sips yeah. of Stadia. Uh, the shape of the bottle, we can change that as well. There's a nice Bordeaux. All right. Let's go I like with... the first one. Oh, the Bordeaux's fine. Bordeaux's pretty uh, pretty much what we get, isn't it? Yeah. Shake, shake it up a little bit. Here we go. <laughs> I like how it actually does have some physics. It does, yeah. Look at the liquid inside it. That's pretty cool. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Shame I can't turn it upside it... down. Got yeah. corked. <laughs> Whiny yeah. McWine face. I knew it. I knew it. Uh, the color of the label. Okay, so we could have... Oh, the color of the bottle, even. Dark bottle. Is, it, this, is, is this a red? I think it's a red, isn't this? It's a so red. A dark it's got to be a dark bottle. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, the label, we can change the shape of that. So we could have a long... Oh, a double label. Ooh, fancy. Vintage. We get the bossed label. Ooh. Big. Tall. Circle. There's something about the double. I don't know why I like yeah. that, but I do. Um, and we can also we can also go in and we can actually change the label that's on the front of it as well. So we can change. Um, when we get the shop, we'll be able to actually buy different paper for it as well. Uh, so we could actually just change the stamp on here if we wanted to. We could go for like, let's go red bargain bin. <laughs> 50% off. Here we go, folks. 50% off wine. Um, all right. I'm not I'm not fan of the, the star shit, <laughs> but I do like the leafy. It symbol. does. Yeah, the, the star looks pretty yeah. cheap, doesn't it? Yeah. Pretty cheap. A little cloudy, Marcus says. <laughs> I feel like this is like Salvation Army style shield right there. Yeah. Um, right, okay. Let's have a look through chat. We'll go with... We'll go with... Um, We'll start off with Kumna Sips of Stadia. Just keep it nice and simple, first of all. Yeah. So, what's the logo of Sips of Stadia going to look like? Okay. It looks like a fancy turd, Gem says. <laughs> Alright. That's what we're making. It's all about how it appears. It's all about how the bottle looks, not about how the wine tastes. The wine has to be fine, but the bottle needs to look fancy. So, Sips of Stadia... I, I believe, I, I feel personally that it has to feature a squirrel on the front of it. <laughs> yes. So it's going to be a squirrel, and it's got to be a squirrel on a... Triangle. <laughs> on, a, on a triangle. A squirrel on a triangle. There we go. Okay. Squirrel on a triangle. Right. Okay. Now we need to pick a color scheme for this then. So... Um, a dark bottle, so I think we want a light color for the so, background. Okay. Okay. So we want a light color for the background then. So... Uh, what are we thinking? Are we thinking sort of natural colours? Are we thinking quite artificial? Um, uh, natural. Natural looks always looks a bit more fancy, doesn't it? Okay. Okay. But we don't want the people to think this is a white wine, so if we can get a bit of like pink or red in there. Pink or red in there. Okay. So perhaps yeah. we want to try and go a little bit more. Um, I mean, these these are very artificial here. Okay. So yeah. Little bit. Little bit of. Little bit of pink, perhaps. And then the logo on the front of it, we should probably have that as like, yeah, the the, the dark red, sort of pinky yeah. color as well, just to just to sort of sell the idea home, shouldn't shouldn't it really? Yeah. Okay, so there we go. We've got our we've got our bottle. We'll name it Sips of Stadia. There we go. Sips of Stadia. The original squirrel. The original, the first, <laughs> the first of its kind. Not necessarily the best, but you know. Oh, actually. We could split the the batch in half and make a premium second batch, which is actually just the same stuff, but even fa looks even fancier. Ooh. All right. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so we're going to make a <laughs> thousand... We're basically scam artists. <laughs> we're gonna... That's what we are. <laughs> yeah, we're going to scam everybody out of this. So what we're going to do is we're going to sell these, rebrand it to the premium, as you say. Yeah. And sell it at a higher price. Well, actually, I, I, think, I think this is the premium bottle, though. This is... Oh, this is premium. Yeah. Okay, the, so this the cheap is. One, we'll have like the cheap stopper. It'll have a terrible label. So, oh, we can't. Ah, oh, we can't fit it in. I was going to write premium next to it. So, how do we identify that this is premium then? I could just put the P. <laughs> Sips of Stadia P. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, you heard it here first, folks. It's been shipped. There we go. <laughs> right. 
Richie works at Apple, confirmed, Jen says. <laughs> I actually, do you know what? If, if they, to, to be fair, um, in chat, um, Sins just said, um, if we do a beer brewing DLC, I'd love to do a beer version of this, like with breweries and stuff as well, growing hops and things. Bring it on. Let's go for it. All right. Okay, let's, let's get that done. Hey, girl. Long time no see. How are you doing? Hi, Anna. I've been busy... Uh, buried in work. Apologies for ghosting you. That's not the real reason, is it? It's just because Anna's always up in your shit. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just trying to go to work. It's like, I'm running late. Like, I'm tying my shoes as I run at the dawn. It's like, oh, you got a chance for that? I was like, no. no I know. Anna's, Anna's always texting you. She's always calling you, leaving you voicemails. And yeah. But only I timed that inopportune. <laughs> All right. Ew. Okay, we bought that first wine. Let's see. You have to tell Satoshi. Okay, this is getting JRPG now, Richie. Now we're getting into it. I wonder if Satoshi knows the old man. I don't know. I wonder if we're now going to get like a meter that we have to build, and at the end point, we can we can produce the real sips of Stadia Premium. Yeah. <laughs> just Rob. Rob says just la just slap Artisan on the label and instantly yeah. triples the value. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. All right. It's from a small artisan vineyard. <laughs> Deep in the old country. With over 200 years of wine... Wine... Winery? Wino experience? I don't know. <laughs> He's got 200 years of wino experience. Yeah, I drink lots of wine. Great. <laughs> oh, wow. I've just noticed. I didn't even notice that. That we can... Um... Oh, yeah. It's because we only bottled half of it, wasn't it? So we can bottle yeah, again. Can. Or we could do a tasting of Sips of Stadia P 2021. I think we need to taste it. I think we do too. There we go. Satoshi's the owner of the wine bar in town. He will want to taste it. Let's go. Well, we might want to look into doing some weeding and suckering first. <laughs> well, uh, okay. We can lay them all. So. At least buy a girl a drink first, Richie. <laughs> What, before you weed? Before her? you weed or suck her. <laughs> <laughs> I've only had one glass. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, okay, okay. Satoshi's Wine Bar. Let's do it. Sure, sure. Let's go. All right. So, um, let's see what we can get in here then. So, can, we can get that in. We can get... We want to get the weeding... Ah, we can't get weeding and suckering in. Actually, hang on. Actually, no, 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 we can, we can, we can. Yeah! Now we're playing. Now we're playing with uh, with T blocks and other Tetris shapes. Line piece. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, let's go. Oh, we've got a wine tasting. I mean, I'm already tasting this. 70. Ah, it is what all vine is in his eyes. <laughs> 70 out of 100. It needs more body. Okay. Needs more yeah, body. 70 out, of, 70 out of 100. Not bad. Not it's, bad. It's not bad for a first wine. Yeah. Come on. All right. Let's go. Interesting. Interesting. Very acidic. Very acidic. Right, now we've added the Barbara Grapes to our journal. So it looks like we can actually buy different types of grapes. Stadia Reserve. Okay. Um, let's let's bottle the rest of ours. I think it's it's time. Yeah. We've got to go with we've got to go with the. Uh, let's see. Cheap. Let's, right, we're going cheap this time. Okay. Sips Reserve. <laughs> Okay, cheap we're going for. So we're going to go for the right. synthetic cork. Yeah, it's, is that the cheapest? Yeah, cheapest bottle is this one. Yeah. Uh, the light bottle. There we go. Yeah. Uh, shape needs to look like a piece of shit, so we'll go with a, cir Basics, right. a circle right. label. <laughs> and if we can get it on crooked, that even better. 
Um, and then logo wise, we need to make it look like an imitation. So we actually need to go for the what was it? We're gonna go for what, the what? bargain what? brand oh, yeah. sale, <laughs> bargain bin red star sticker. But we need the squirrel. We need the squirrel. We need to have our squirrel. But the colors need to. The colors not need to, don't need to work well. They need to work poorly together. Yeah. All right, squirrel. So we need to have. Uh, let's think. Let's think. Let's think. <laughs> Just the red squirrel. <laughs> red squirrel on stick. <laughs> I mean, look at it. Look at that bargain bin. <laughs> yeah, that, that looks like a cheap bottle of wine right there. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Let's see. What can we get? What else have we got in oh, here? Oh, let's just go for our synthetic colors. Like, let's get a nice light blue. Light blue. Okay. The... Okay. Let's get yeah. like a... Uh, I think there's a better blue further down. There we go. Let's go for a blue. Yeah. Oh, actually, that does... Yeah. Mm, yeah, that's mm, a cheap bottle mm. right there. <laughs> Oh, we like this one. Sips reserve. Let's go. Let's push this out. It's a shame I can't just like knock the price up as well. Yeah. All right. Selling yeah. this cheap bottle of piss out there. Let's go. Yeah. It's gone. And then everyone buys, sees that and buys the expensive one. Think, oh, I'm buying the expensive one. It's actually the same stuff. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Oh, here we go. I should work for Apple. I really should. Check. <laughs> All right, Satoshi. Tune in to Radio Anna. Okay, could you be more bitchy? Sorry, folks. I'm just topping up. Let's go again. All right. Landed on Cottage Classic. <laughs> uh, okay. Cat side character. Nice to meet you too, furry creature. Have you never seen a cat before? Okay. <laughs> that cat just slid right in there. <laughs> yeah. Alright. I like your wine we should bar. Put a cat. We should put a cat on the next um, bottle. Okay. Alright. In honor of us. Ginger cat. Let's... That's going to be the next one. Let's go. All right, well, we're going through the dialogue here, folks. I just want to say thank you so much for everybody who's tuned in tonight so far. We're just here having a chill time this Friday night, having a few glasses of wine. Hope you'll join us. Yeah. Oh, man. Honestly, I could just keep drinking 19 Crimes. It's too good. Yeah. It's too good. I, this is quite nice wine as well. Is it? 19 Crimes, the first time I drank, I went... Oh, that's good. Yeah. Like, it's one of them ones. Yeah. That's what we strive to make here at uh, Sips of Stadia. <laughs> yeah. Would that be our company policy? What we do is we make one wine, but split it between an expensive looking bottle and a cheap looking bottle <laughs> so we can just charge different prices for them. Absolutely. All right. Yeah. So, Sips Reserve has made it to the cellar. We have three new orders. That's good. But obviously, naturally, we have to do a tasting of Sips Reserve. But we do need to check out these orders. Okay, so. People are interested in buying bottles. I'm drinking Ribena Gem. That's absolutely fine. It's as close as you get, as, as close as I, I believe that you're able to get to the real thing if you're not drinking the real thing. It's made from grapes. Just put a shot of vodka in it and you've basically got wine. <laughs> right, what can we do here? So, oh, is this just sorting? Sorting by... Right. So so she's willing to pay the most for it, for 15 bottles. Yeah, we, we want to sell... We want to make the most out of our... Um, how much we've got. So okay. We, uh, figure out... What, how many bottles do we have in total? Uh, we have... 1,015 bottles. All right, let's just sell it all. <laughs> like, <laughs> we don't we don't need to go I, I was thinking do we need to uh, pick and choose which one we sell to out, out of with those yeah. numbers with numbers yeah, like that no nah, we're, <laughs> we're peddling to peasants let's just yeah. sell it all <laughs> yeah burn through the it's stock it's quite a nice feature actually later in the game you might you want to actually look at do I sell a small amount for a higher price or do I just try and shift all my stock because <laughs> I'm guessing you have to deal with storage and stuff later 
Let's go. Oh! Who is she, Satoshi? My dearest Carlo is Emma. Ah, uh, we're name dropping everyone now. Carlo, Emma, Gianni, Teo, old man. Ginger Cat. Ginger Cat. Absolutely. Believe me, it's kinda good. It's kinda good. That's what we strive for, just kind of Kinda good, good yeah. Kind, <laughs> kind kinda good wine. <laughs> yeah. Oh, is the cat called Barrick? Ah, oh, okay. Barrick. In my defense, I'm a wine journalist. Mm. Let's see, everybody's a journalist of some sort these days. Aye. I mean, we can't complain, we have a weekly news podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a bit hypocritical, I must admit. Yeah. Check out every Monday. <laughs> Some vintages do improve with age. Maybe we should just keep this, keep keep some of those bottles and just like lock them back for about 50, yeah. 50 years or so. Well, well, that's the note. That's the other trick, isn't it? You just put dust on it, and then you sell it <laughs> just, for more. Just dust it. <laughs> just sand the walls down next to it and let the, let the dust yeah. settle. Right. I've got a recommendation for chat as well. If you haven't watched it before, everyone needs to go watch Black Books. There's um, an episode <laughs> called G Grapes of Wrath, where the um the ha the house sitting for a friend and um, they accidentally drink the expensive wine so they try to recreate it off the tasting notes and it's like it's okay finished so they're getting three branches in there and putting them in the blender it's absolutely <laughs> hilarious it's a brilliant episode that is uh, so interestingly enough the wine tasting has returned exactly the same stats for Sips Reserve as it did with I the premium why? Hmm, let's not tell anybody yeah. oh that's very very convenient okay yeah. two new orders Tuna Waters. We've still got... still. These are still rookie numbers. Still rookie numbers. Um, I have, however, Selling. noticed that the price they're paying for it is dropping. So there's got to come a point where we say, fuck this shit. <laughs> yeah. I, I will. don't know how much it costs us to make, so it's hard to say. True. All right. Uh... Sales completed, you earned 1,029 euros. Okay. We have seven new orders. Seven oh, new orders. That's because we've got two wines in the market. Oh, whoa. Okay, right. We got These These are better numbers. These are better numbers. Oh, we my God. They're paying 14, <laughs> 14 euros for the cheap shit. <laughs> oh, shit. They are. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I didn't even realize that was the cheap shit then. I just assumed it was the premium. But, nope. Okay, right. Um, I think, right. The one who wants to buy the 43 bottles at 11.82 can go fuck themselves. <laughs> yeah, should we say 12 minimum? Like, we're not selling for Ah, uh, we say that, but then there's this group that wants to buy 145 bottles. But for 9.71, that's a massive discount. However, yeah. money, well, money, money. Considering it's apparently valued about 14 euros, it's like you're getting a like yeah a 30 percent discount there. That's a, that's quite a lot. We'll sell all the ones up to here. Let's go for that. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Satoshi, what a pleasant surprise. Okay. So this guy's just come in here. He's trying to be all friendly. The reality he's is he... Re he's scouting it out. Yeah, he knows we're onto something. He knows we're onto something, and what he's trying to do is he's trying to worm his way in. Yeah. If he wants to sign an exclusive deal, I'll do, I'll do him 12 euros a bottle. Well, he wants to be a client. Team Outsiders for the win! <laughs> Alright. Carlo would like to interview you. Total, move, total noob moons to... Uh, again, Lange... Lange? Lang? Lang? <laughs> that could be an endearing... It's like laugh, so is it la... Lanf? Yeah. <laughs> Lanker. I don't know. <laughs> Is it a real place? 
It's right. a real place. Is it actually? Yes. What? No. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site as well. Oh, wow. Okay. The vineyard landscape of... Ah, uh, right. Okay. Uh, I'm not willing to sell to those people at less than 12, so you guys can all come back with better deals. I'm not paying for that. Uh, mind you, this this company has lowered their order, but increased their price. So, is, is the endless <laughs> mode it. also this story heavy? No, the endless mode is purely just, you go for it. Purely sandbox, I think. Uh, let's upgrade some stuff. Let's get some... Ooh. We have some Chardonnay in there. Reduce the acidity of wine. Ah, aging the wine. We absolutely want to be able to age the wine. Let's do that. A shop. I'm spending all of our money. <laughs> I shouldn't be doing this. I shouldn't be doing this. All right, folks. I've invested in a shop and aging technology. So we can artificially age our wine. Yes. All right, we have one new special order. Ooh. Special order, right. He wants 10% off the price. For 50 bottles, we will earn five fame. And he wants Barbara... Oh, it's, it's Satoshi. Okay, he wants the Barbara yeah. wines with a minimum quality of 30. Well, fortunately for us, Sips no, Reserve yeah. means that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's cheaper for juice. Uh, yeah, we're gonna. It's above our twelve euro threshold. Yeah, you can have it. <laughs> oh, Kumna, Kumna said you've researched the shop, but you still need to buy it. Ah, oh, he fell into the same trap. Okay, uh, still need to buy it. Okay. Okay, three new orders of it. Oh, here we go. This is better. Sips reserve. Yep. You can absolutely buy the cheap shit for that price. Yeah. So how do we buy if, it? I wonder if our customers are clicking on because everyone's buying Sips Reserve now. It's like they are. Have they, have they noticed? Hang on a sec. This is the same wine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we have to go to the warehouse apparently. Ooh. Okay. Rooms. Wait, what? Oh, shop. Okay. Uh, shop. 20,000. Insufficient funds. Okay. okay. <laughs> well, that made that pretty yeah. pretty straightforward for us, really. Okay. Um, Kim now just pointed it out to us as well. In the chat. <laughs> oh. uh, we, I guess then we also need to buy the aging barrels, but right now, again, we don't have the money, so I guess we just have to sell more Cheap shit. All right. Can we buy more wine? More uh, grapes and stuff? Because we're currently not making anything. We're not making anything. You are correct. Oh, here we go. These grapes are growing. It's probably because of the season, actually. It's summer. It is summer. It's just growing. Let's go. Yeah. Skip. Hey, seven new orders. Right. Uh, yes, this is all. All the prices are good. We go until we see... Oh, they're all above 12. Okay. Ooh. <gasps> Are we running out? Have we run out? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Go back. Go. We don't We don't want to sell the cheaps to a, a customer for cheaper when we haven't. Because there's one there that's 13 <laughs> we're not selling to. Okay, selling yes. 40 bottles to somewhere at 12. Okay. What the f... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, 12, 16, 12, 02. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. You don't get any wine because we have no more. Nope. Skip. Hey, crop thinning. All right. Okay. So, we need to thin the crop out. Ooh, okay. Awkward. Actually, we can do awkward shape up here. There we go. Yeah. Um, we've got two new special orders. She wants a white wine. We do not have white. So, he wants a red, and we can fulfill that. Gonna... Why couldn't we sell more wine then? We've got loads of wine. Yeah, we have got loads of wine. Hmm. 
I wonder if there's a minimum, uh, a maximum number of orders that you can actually do in a single day, perhaps something like oh, that. Oh, maybe this is where you like need an e-commerce shop or yeah. something to improve how many you can handle. Yeah. Ooh, nice. We net five thousand from this sale. That's good. Yeah. Okay. Sell that reserve. Uh, and she wants white. We can't do that yet, so I'm just gonna have to discard her. Yep, discarded. Okay. Uh, four new orders over here, and they're all good prices. Oh, white food coloring in the, in the wine for white wine. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> nobody, nobody will notice. Build the sh oh, here we go. Build the shop to automatically manage some orders. Oh, cool. so that's what we actually need to do. Right, so we've got our grapes are going in there. Ooh, tool shed. Ooh. Uh, we can't actually buy anything anyway. I guess this is all automation. Yeah. Bleach. Yeah, let's, <laughs> we don't want to kill it. We want to deceive people into thinking the wine's better than it is. We don't want to kill them. Yep. Okay. All right. Two new special orders. Again, he they want white. He wants red. He can have sips of Stadia Premium. Yeah. Ooh, we're getting some good money now. Getting some yeah. good money now. Still, I think we're starting about 30k, so we've still got a bit of go, but we've still got <laughs> wine to sell. Yeah, we just... Oh, hang on. Oh, have we run out of sips of Stadia? Oh, we're down to 32 bottles. Okay, quick, yeah. back to the back to the wine orders. Um, we can make more from doing it this way. Do we want to make more per bottle? Because if we do this, I'd say we go more per bottle. You want to go more per bottle, okay? Yeah. And just hope that we get people buying out the last, like the dregs of the stock. Yeah. Well, that's when we just go. It becomes an exclusive wine because there's not much left. Ah, I like it. I like it. We pop it in the cellar. Let it age yeah. for a little bit. We we change the we change the label, and this time put a gold scroll <laughs> on, so people know it's exclusive. <laughs> gold brand. <laughs> FineDrinking.com. Nice, Rob. Nice. That was subtle. Very subtle. Uh, two special orders. Uh, again, a Chardonnay. And a. What is is Rob actually plugging his actual wine company in the chat? <laughs> <laughs> perhaps. Uh, perhaps. Right, okay, so we can sell this, this. Ah, oh, there's some more sips of Stadia orders coming through. Just about how many we got left. We got five bottles left. Yeah. We got five left. We got plenty of reserve. People still just want to buy the cheap shit. Have you noticed since we did that deal with, um, what do you call them, um, Satoshi, that our, the price per bottles went up? Yes. Do you know what else I've noticed? We've got enough money to buy a cage. <laughs> the shop. Yeah, but do I, shop. do we buy the shop? What's it do? Uh, attracts new yeah. customers. I mean, we haven't got the wine to sell. <laughs> it, it means we can be more picky probably with our customers. Yeah, I think it's worth buying. Is it? Okay. What well, well. We've done it. <laughs> We've bought it. Yeah. All right. Shop in the corner. Uh, oh, wait. You can actually manage this bit as well. Okay. So I can pop the shop down, get the crates. There we go. All right. Folks, we just sank 20 grand on a shop. <laughs> uh, how much wine do we actually have left to sell? 270 bottles of Sips Reserve. Yeah. Buy the blue squirrel. <laughs> we promise you. It's... it's that's a, that's the tagline by the blue squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> Seven new orders, right? These better be good orders. All right. Uh, wait. Private customers. Allow order management for private cust. What? what? Okay. Uh... Oh wait, no. This is still this turn. Okay. Yeah. Skip. We can harvest. harvest. Excellent. Oh, here we go.
It's just an interview for a local newspaper. You're not on trial. I still feel like he's going to be like the backstabbing kind of journalist who sort of sells us yeah. out and just says, hasn't got a clue what she's doing. Wine is like swill. What we need to do is we need to give him a free bottle of wine. We need to get him on side so he can tell like such a story how we've inherited this from a long lost relative. And we're doing our best and we've got, we've, we've, passion, we've become, developed a new passion about it. Well, here we go. We've actually got the article here. So uncork the drama, Emma. This week for my column, uncork the drama, I sat down with Emma and asked her about a few questions, asked her a few questions about her new life in the vineyards. For those of you who haven't noticed, we have a new winemaker here in town. She's here to stay. His formatting is not in, is not good. I don't like the uh, justified alignment. I do in certain contexts, but not this narrow. No. Uh, Emma is revolutionizing the winemaking business, dismantling the canon one bottle at the time. At the time. She's young, resilient, and with no prior experience in the field, yet she has already made an impression on the owner of a local wine bar, thus securing an important client and landing a contract in town. Rumor has it, she is working with the legendary Gianni, who has quietly disappeared from the winemaking scene since the infamous accident almost a decade ago. Ooh, foreshadowing. The combo of a renowned oenologist with a total rookie might seem dangerous to some, but I'm here to tell you that judging from the first bottles, this could indeed be a match made in heaven. Okay. Why would that be dangerous to some? It's like, we're a total rookie, so we've got some of experience. <laughs> that. That, seems, that seems very pragmatic. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. So we are now in the process of... Oh, yeah. Oh, I see what it's doing. It is automatically putting them up for sale. Yeah. Cancel that one, though. That's under 12. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, so we're going to start harvesting these grapes again, guys. So we're going to need some more suggestions in chat shortly. Okay. Well, we're harvesting the grapes and we've still got... A We've still got to press them, then we've got to ferment them. It's true. Still a bit plenty of time, plenty of time. Girl, you're famous! <laughs> yes, you're famous around town, this very small village. This where small wine-making anyway. village. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Cork it up. It feels like if we want to get um, the word around, we just tell Anna rather than the press. Yep. I've strategically placed a few copies of the newspaper in the best shops in town. Sips, like of, Sips of Stadia 2. Come now with the original ideas. Yeah. <laughs> Gulp of Stadia. Today I'm drinking 19 crimes, tomorrow I'll be drinking 20 crimes. <laughs> And the day after, 18 crimes, because I skipped a day. Sangria, a.k.a. The Booze! The booze. <laughs> I like it. Me too. Unfortunately, it won't fit on the bottle. No, we've got 16 characters at most, guys. <laughs> 16 characters, that is it. All right. That's the name of the wine, 16 characters. <laughs> Let's do it, 16 characters. All right. Second letter from the old man. Oh, wow. Could buy the land next to this and expand on your vineyards. Okay. Wait. We've basically been here like two years now, and now we're out of bank account. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> you also need to hire an agronomist. Oh my god. Okay. Alright. His name is Lumber. Did she say his name is Lumber? I don't know what an agronomist is. Right. Okay. So we have to... Oh no. We have to buy the next plot of land to build to, to, build, to grow the grapes on. Okay. So... But it costs 52 grand. <laughs> And it doesn't look like the land is suitable for any of these. Yeah, I think it's. I think it's. Um, is that what the agronomist does? He changes like the soil composition. Perhaps, something. perhaps he does. I think if we were to look, oh god, that's actually. Re can we? <gasps> Maybe he could still grow it. Just. Um, yeah. Just not. You might get put 
like lesser quality. Yeah. Oh man. Oh, 15 grand. Okay, there's some 15 grand. Yeah. Oh, that's good for Chardonnay. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Let's, let's get a white gun. We we'll keep getting requests for white. Yeah, we might as well, right? Okay. Yeah. Luca, not lumber. Yeah. On cloud wine. I like that one. On cloud wine. Okay. I received your call on a new moon day. I just finished meditating and I felt I like... Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't trust his judgment. <laughs> wine is raw. That would be our grape juice. It's raw wine. It is. Raw <laughs> just... wine. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, this guy knows his leaves. He's the healer. Uh, is that a... She just said, is, and is that big box, is that a collection of mana potions? <laughs> I like it. I like it, okay. I like our character. Yeah. She's quirky. She's it's a, it's a drone. Yeah. Yeah. She was. She was. Okay. Okay. Wine monkey. <laughs> uh, sandwich, packet of crisps. Yeah. It's a voucher to eat at Elena's farmhouse. It's an agriturismo. Okay. Interesting. All right. So we want to also clean this land as well. Get that in there. All right, we're, we're getting somewhere, folks. We're getting somewhere. 2023. Hey, do we have free fields? Because that's when I give it a number three. Uh, no, no, no. The three is how many rounds it takes to sort of... Oh. Yeah, to, to do yeah, the I'm job. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So okay. it's good. it'll go down. So I'll hit next and it'll go down one. There you go. Yeah, oh, right. that makes sense. Yeah. Okay, you. so the Bricko is done. We actually got a little bit more this time. 7,698. This is our Barbara 2022. So, let's get them in that tank. We need to... Being a light. <laughs> we need to crush... Uh, we can't prune just yet. But we could... We can... Yeah. Crush and plow. There we go. Yeah, let's get some plowing going. <laughs> in the, I, I'm loving the ideas now. <laughs> Founder said, insert mouth here. <laughs> The what we need <laughs> is to make more wine so we can use these names. Yeah, the creativity is off the charts. Oh, you yeah. took your time. You have interrupted my dinner with the console and you knew how important it was for my business. Yet here I am. Have you seen the article? It's outrageous. Oh, this is introducing the antagonist. Yeah, Debotteris' cellar. Your snappy attitude is obnoxious. <laughs> no wonder you're ben. on your second <laughs> divorce. Yeah. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I whine. <laughs> I think that I call Charlie's own professional. It's mm. like, it was niche. But... Well, your taste in men and newspapers is questionable, to say the least. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Am I missing something? <laughs> plow and crushing, plow and crushing. So is he back? You know what that means. Alright. So, the plowing is done, even though we haven't even finished cleaning the field yet. Uh, we still need more room to prune, so we can't prune that area yet. Um, ooh, we've taken a big hit on our money since we bought that land, so... That's to be expected, we bought land. Yeah. Um. Do I actually even have... I don't think I have Chardonnay. Let's buy it. Yeah, let's buy it. We've bought some land to make Chardonnay, so we probably should get the grapes. Yeah, absolutely. Alright, cool.
cool. So we're crushing the Barbara grapes. Yeah. We've got the land being cleaned, so we're ready to plant. So we oh, can do we this. can do some pruning, etc. Here we go. Yeah, Crusher. Crusher is dirty. Okay, well maybe Crusher should go and have a shower. I don't know who Crusher is. <laughs> no one does. Oh, it's our wine crusher. It's been cleaned. That makes more sense. So, oh, yeah, we've just finished using it. Yeah, okay. So, we need... So that means in future we're going to have to stagger. Yeah. So we can... Ooh, hang on. Hang on. How are we going to do this? Um... And you lay them out and move them around before, like, you move 10, or is it, like... Um, Once it's placed, it's placed. I'm just trying to think about how to do this. We've got four. We've got uh, a squiggly. Yeah, I'm thinking fermentation is top left. in the. With... You think fermentation up here? No, the other side. Sorry, top left, yeah? Yeah. Okay, right. So we want to ferment our grapes. Um, so they said... We wanted to aim for 2-2, two, two, but we, we recognize that the, the tannin and the body process increase the tannin. So we want to try and get it so the tannin drops down more, right? Yes. That wasn't fermentation. What was the next step? Pressing. Yeah. Okay. So maybe it's at the pressing step. We have to do that then. Yeah. Because if we increase so this. If, so for now, we just, I think we just go short. Yeah. Okay. Because we don't want... We don't, <laughs> Want to keep the sweetness down. Yeah, that increases the tannin, so we don't want to do that yet. Yeah. We're going to end up making the same wine again, aren't we? But... Yes, Kumna. I... Grape crusher, not wine crusher. Thank you for correcting me. Thank you. I appreciate right, I it. I think we can only place one of these, and I think we go with pruning, because we haven't done that in a while. Okay. You are correct. Yeah, we can't do that. Yeah. Um, and we want to do the same thing again. Um, in terms of our yield this time, ripeness, quality, what are we thinking? What do we want to go for? Do we just want to go... I think we... What's the middle one? Oh, actually, uh, quality. Yeah, we get higher quality. No change to quant uh, quantity would be slightly down. So we'd, get, we'd probably get around about... What do we get? We got about seven thousand six hundred this time, so I reckon about yeah, six thousand something. I think we'll go with medium. Medium seems okay. Good. Okay. Okay, so that's going to take two turns, and then after that, hopefully, oh shit! <laughs> oh, so you can replace. You can, you can, yeah. No. All right, cool. Crusher is very dirty. Okay, that's the end of winter. I'm just concerned that we're going to start hemorrhaging money because at the moment we're getting very close to going back. Yeah, we need we need to we need to focus on getting this next yeah. round of wine done. Also, we're not getting any odds, and we still have a bit of wine left on. Uh, we have one bottle of each, Richie. <laughs> one bottle of each. Okay. Um, yeah, we need to really focus. On we need to get wine okay. Wine. Okay, so so. Uh, oh shit. No, they're just. We want the body as high as possible without the tannins being. Yeah, cleaned. it's just the same again. Yeah. I could have sworn we could have gotten the tannin down before. I'm like, sure. I think it was just up, but. Uh, maybe it was the crushing process. No, maybe I botched it. I don't know. Anyway, right. right. So we've got that done. Oh. Um. Yeah. Oh, we need. Oh, right. Okay. So that's what's taking all of our money. The Chardonnay is taking our money. Yeah. So the brick. The Bricko... Suckering costs nothing, but I think weeding is probably... Might as well. If we can get suckering and weeding done in the same turn. Uh, yeah, okay. So if we can get... Yeah, we can get both of them in. Yeah. There we go. I'm getting both in there. Yeah. <laughs> Just call the next batch the same again. Yeah. <laughs> I am... Um, funny story, actually. I went, to a, I went to a pub once and I... Um, I I wasn't drinking and I had I had a Pepsi Max I think it was or something and then um when the when when the bartender came around and asked us if we wanted any more drinks I said yeah I'll have the same again and he brought me a San Miguel 
Yeah. Ah. Yeah. So. Not what you want. Not what I wanted, but hey, at the end of the day. Okay. And with that, I have another drink. Okay, right. There's, wet. There's worse drinks than San Miguel, though. Oh, Richie, we've got... Ah, uh, we've got 833. <laughs> bottle it. Just get that stuff bottled straight. Oh, God, right. We can't age it. Yeah, we got to bottle it. we got to do it. Folks, we might be out of business before we... Right. Okay, let's go. Right, so we've agreed, I think, that we're going to call this one 16 characters. Yeah. It's 16 characters... Uh, for a second there, I thought it's 16 characters, actually 16 characters. <laughs> we can get three more letters in. Yeah. Uh, now we go. Double X. <laughs> yeah, double X. <laughs> Yeah, just 16 characters. 16 characters, okay. So now what we've got to be careful of is we can't cost ourselves too much. <laughs> yeah, so what we found is last time, it, none of the bottle or anything made a difference, really. No, it's just, I think it's purely just aesthetics, so... Um, yeah. So we'll go with the cheap shit again? Or... Yeah. Okay. We're low on cash. Let's get the cheap shit. Let's just get these yeah. bottles made. And let's, get, let's get them made. Let's get it out there. Uh, logo for 16 characters, then. We need to go with uh, background, first of all. It's a nice blue. It's a nice blue, isn't it? Yeah. Full. <laughs> Marcus says, full stop and speech marks. <laughs> speech marks in front. 16 speech characters. <laughs> 16 characters. Full stop. Um, I like that. I'm trying to think what to go for here. Okay, logo. What really embodies 16 characters? Do any of these animal names have 16 characters in them? Um, Maybe 16 characters is directly represented by a oh, warthog on a blue background. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The white wall. Yeah, that's exactly that's, that's exactly, it. That's, exactly that's, that's it. That's it. Ship it. 16 <laughs> characters right there. Oh, man. So, uh, oh, guys. 16 characters. <laughs> full stop. Yeah. Full Not stop. an exclamation mark. A full stop. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's perfect. 16 characters. <laughs> okay. 156 bottles. Ladies and gentlemen, don't buy wine from us. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to cost us 182 to make this. It's going to cost us six and... Oh, my God. Ah. Uh, uh, yeah, no, no. It's just... It's going to cost us 650 next turn, I think. That's fine. Plus 182, 700. That uh, takes us to 800. Oh, we're going to take us to 832 cost. We have 830. We might be down to our last euro. <laughs> Let's do it. All right. It's done. Let's go. Next turn. We have that. We inherited 30k oh! <laughs> in a vineyard. Woo! Woo! <laughs> that's uh that's cutting it fine <laughs> what we need is a loan we've we got just need a bank loan. one euro we've got all this wine to sell we just need a bank loan to tide us over <laughs> at least we've got a shop to sell it in right um yeah. so yeah maybe we shouldn't have bought the shop <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's not like it's difficult to manually click sell on all of them Oh, what have I done? I spent 20 grand on a shop. Um, okay, <laughs> we're losing money. You better be careful to our, to our finance or we'll be forced to close. You could have told us that like, a couple of times. Oh. Yeah. Welcome to the farmhouse. Feel free I'm to pick... I'm sorry, we can't. I'm sorry, we, we, one euro. <laughs> we can't order anything. I'll have a water, Will please. Will you take a bottle of wine <laughs> as payment? <laughs> Actually, no, to be fair, he gave us a voucher. He did give oh, us a right, voucher. Yeah. He did give us a voucher. So there is that's that. That's how we're eating this month on that voucher. <laughs> <laughs> that and the grapes that we didn't like. Hey, Jiras. Good evening. Welcome, welcome. You've just tuned in as we are about to go bankrupt. <laughs> 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 Unless we could ship this wine very quickly. Bonjour. I am Sophie. Happy to assist you with the holistic lang. <laughs> Lange. Langher menu. Yeah, I did actually listen to the pronunciation. Langher. What's so special about the menu? 
Pas de problème. It's quite simple. This is not just a menu. It's a journey through the organoleptic palate of Langer. Thanks to our chef, you will taste the best of the traditional recipes from this geographical area, and every dish will be accompanied by a different glass of wine. Hey, no worries. Mini Dolan here in chat, checking it out. Tom's been drinking all the merchandise. Uh, I mean, we promised you a drunken um, wine simulator stream, and now you've got it. <laughs> Savasandir. Hitting the pause button during your day is indeed part of the holistic approach, which we want to promote with this menu. Sorry, folks. Uh, that's the second bite of our philosophy. Treasure, treasure each course of this meal. Take your time. Why are we... Wh why? We, we shouldn't be here having lunch. We should be selling wine. I don't think it's, you understand the Tom, gravity of the situation. Tom, Tom, it's networking. Look, she's got bottles of wine on display. We might be able to get a sale here. We Let's have one euro. <laughs> we have one euro to our name. <laughs> Let's enjoy her food, chat her up, and maybe you know what? He's a gift. We've got them two bottles of wine from the last press. That no one's just going to buy a single bottle for some reason. Uh, so we'll just go. Look, we can gift her a bottle of wine if you like it. You know where we are. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Okay. So it does seem like they're having some sort of event going on. Yeah. All right. 16 characters, <clears throat> full stop, is is ready to ship. Yeah, when you get this wine We're going to have a tasting done. Oh, God, please buy it. Ah, Ooh. we're in negatives. It's fine. Oh, it's if a set. Mm. If you don't look at your bank balance, no one cares. No, you're not in debt. That's how it works. We've guaranteed. I tell you now. The blue label with the white warthog has given us a three in increase in wine rating. Yeah. It's it's actually really acidic. It's got a, yeah. it's got a full ten out of ten for acidity. Again, I think that's just the like the terrain we're working with. Okay. Um, um, so does that mean does that mean it's extremely acidic, or does that mean it is perfect in terms of its balance? I'm guessing it means it's extremely acidic because. When he was talking about like the tannin sweetness, he said two uh, the optimum for yes, the grape. Yes, yes, that's right. That is fair. So it's not a, it's not a scale of what's best. It's a scale of where does it. Fit. Yeah. Uh, but again, the wine still needs more body. <laughs> it's still seventy three though. Like, it is that's a decent seventy three. I count. Yeah. I, I'd buy a seventy three at Tesco in the, uh, in the wine aisle. Yeah. <laughs> probably drinking one. Like, probably. Yeah. is probably like a 75 or something. Like, Ooh, shots fired. Okay. That's, that's not shots fired. It's like, it's not a, like, like an, a premium wine that's going to cost you like 100 quid a bottle. Yeah. Like. Oh, they all want white. They all want white. Now, I could sacrifice some of our fame. No. I don't think we need to. I just don't know how many special orders we can actually have sit in there. Right. We could. <laughs> I we'll mean, get there. I mean, we could. Once we, once we start selling some wine, we can get the Chardonnay planted. Don't tell me I've gone bankrupt. Oh, okay. the aging will soften the wine. Aging? So hmm. Right, here we go. But, but like, all right, here we go. We're getting some sales now. Uh, not big numbers. They're not big numbers by any means, but it'll put us back into the positives. Yeah, but the cheapest one was like 14 euro, which is much more expensive than we've sold anything for at this point. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, you're right. Okay, cool. All right, maybe this shop is useful after all. Okay. Yeah. Um, can we bottle more? Didn't we bottle it all? Apparently not. Bottle the rest? Bottle the rest. We'll just sell it as is. We're not gonna yeah. rebrand it to yeah. to seventeen characters. Uh, do I do? Do we need to do the tasting on these? I, I think we might do. You know, right. it's the evaluation of the wine, so that's how you get. Yeah. Sold. See, we're back to one euro. Yeah. Uh, we got seven new orders. People are still paying a solid. Oh, wait, wait, amount. wait! 
Wait a sec. Go There's on. a 17 euro order there that we're not fulfilling. Yeah, what's up Let's with that? Let's be choosing. Oh, oh. It's because we actually haven't produced much of 16 characters. Or did we just produce as much as we could with the money I th we had? I think so. I think I think that's what it comes down to. I think oh, we're okay. producing what we've what what we can afford to. Okay, once we taste this wine, we'll have more to sell. <clears throat> we have experiment. We're three hundred and sixty-seven euros in debt. Make this quick. This I know. Yeah, seriously, this is a fine line, woman. You are literally costing me right now. <laughs> yeah. My my time is worth money. Yeah, I spent twenty thousand euros in the shop, <laughs> which I didn't need, and now I'm in debt. <laughs> All right. While she's talking, go for glass number three. Oh, see, my problem with a bottle of red is mm. with a bottle of white. I'm nearly done. It's in the fridge. You pour yourself a glass. You walk over doing whatever you have. You drink your glass, and you have to get back up and go to the fridge. Mm -hmm. With a red, it the bottle's next year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's true. Marcus, forty thousand bottles of that at that increased margin, the shop will be paying for itself. You're absolutely right, mate. Absolutely right. Yes. Now we just got to get forty thousand people through the door. Forty thousand bottles of wine. Not at all. It's an investment in the future. This is why we just need to take a bank loan. I just know she's got a little iPhone with her there. Yeah. Is my mobile number? Okay. Yep, we've already seen that. Yeah. Don't know why I clicked on it. Shouldn't have been surprised. Right. Uh... <gasps> yes! Okay, somebody willing to pay good money for it. I sell it all. Sell it all. Sell. Can we bottle more? No. <laughs> uh. No, we can't. Oh, we just need to be positive. Yeah. Uh, we need to be positive again. Nope. Oh, shit. We Ah oh, shit. Crop finning. Oh, we have... Ah, shit. <laughs> right. We can bottle more at cost. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Can we do crop thinning? We can even do though... crop thinning, even though yeah. we're broke as shit. Seven new orders. Uh, we've got some orders going out. That's good. Okay, we might be able to make... 16 euro a bottle. This is getting good. Yeah, yeah, it is. But what's our... Okay. Oh. Okay. What's I, I've got to admit, I've sort of zoned out of the story a little bit. What is actually going on here? So, I don't know. There seems to be a bit of bad blood between like that Sophie and the journalist guy whose name I can't remember. Yeah. Um. The white, the wine. T um. The wine bar guy seems yeah. to have disappeared off the face of the earth. We still haven't met the old man. No, no, that's true. That's true. Right. Uh, ah, okay, that's the issue we've got here. The tank is not available. Right. So the tank... Let me guess. Yeah, see, with 2,000, I could buy another tank, but... We have minus 99. We can't buy anything. Fun Funnily enough, we can't buy anything when we've got no money. Uh, can I sell the shop? Maybe. If we can sell it. it might, we might take a loss, but it might help us. In the short term. Yeah. Uh, okay, maybe not. Shop. Sell. 10,000. Half. For now, it's worth yeah. it. It gets us in... The, it gets us in a position where we can get another fiberglass tank... I think we get ourselves another fiberglass tank that gives us enough room to put more wine down. Yeah. Here we go. Right. Now we can right. do more bottling. We also should probably plant our Chardonnay. We should. You're right. Okay. 16 characters. There we go. Look. Now we yeah. can do 1,752 bottles of it. Yeah. And still have money to spare. That's more like it. Right, right, folks. Let's get, let's get. Oh, we can't plant the shot. No. Well, we, <laughs> we need to research that again. But again, yeah. that's like twenty grand. So, oh, it's that's autumn. Nice. It's, it's, it's just there. The planting thing's just right there. It is. Plant it. But is it too late in the year now? I don't know. Because it's now 
autumn. Right. Oh, I feel like we should we just go low. Five. Yeah, we only have like 5,000. Do, do we seriously want to do this now? We can hold off if you think it's it, smarter to. I just think it's autumn. I think trying to plant grapes. Let's wait for the spring. Yeah, I think we just wait. We get through the winter. We somehow get through the winter. Somehow. Well, we're about to uh, get a lot of bottles. Oh, here them. we go. Oh, people want to buy one bottle. One bottle, one bottle, one bottle. One bottle. Oh my god. Oh, okay. Alright. We've got one that's on a zero now. Oh, man. Oh, we can harvest our grapes now as well. Ooh, dear me. <laughs> I'm starting to sweat a little bit here. Right, how many have we got now? I think, we're, we're, I think we're okay now since we made the decision to cut the shop. Yeah, we got 1,752. All right, we can we can do Chris this. Barber, what what time is the Alcoholics, Alcoholics Anonymous meeting? We don't we don't have the luxury at the moment. When we were until very recently in lots of debt, we just wasted ten grand <laughs> in the shop. Emma, we can't here be you drinking are. our own supply. We're gonna record a podcast. Okay. Yeah. We are now recording a podcast. Really, in game, we're recording the podcast. We are, yeah. Should we call Chris? Hello, everybody, and welcome Chris. to the Quest. <laughs> Chris, you needed. Where are you? On this week's episode, we're drinking wine. We're drinking wine, and it's good. Barolo, the king of wines. It's very chill this game. Yeah. Although I was, we're, we're playing. I was, yeah, I was quite stressed out <laughs> earlier. <laughs> Thank you again, everybody who's tuned in so far and stuck with us over the past hour and forty minutes. This has been a, uh, it's been fun. Oh wow! Look at this. We're about, we're about to be in the money, Tom. We gotta be. We gotta be in the money now. Look at this. Look Let's at reject any, anything under fifteen. We reject. <gasps> wow. Okay, that's that's bold. Uh, actually, well, most of them are like 15 to 17, so. Oh. Here he is. Luca. Oh, he's the guy who prays at the moon, isn't he? He's the, yeah, he's the praise the moon guy. Witches of the Vineyard. There's some occult shit going on now. Yeah. I, I don't trust this guy. <laughs> Is this when 100 days actually becomes 28 days later? It suddenly becomes a zombie game. You have to try to grow, grow the grapes by fighting off the zombie horde as well. Uh, see, I told you about the castles earlier, Tom. You did. You Can did tell me about castle? those castles, actually. I'm reading through this story. I'd be reading it all out to you folks, but it's a lot. There is a lot of this. Yes. Okay. New special order. Uh, Chardonnay. She wants Barbara, but she wants... Uh, she wants aged Barbara. Okay. Which we can't do. No. And he wants, he wants Chardonnay. She wants non-acidic. Uh, Maybe just that's non what the agent wine. does. Takes it off. Yeah, perhaps. Takes the edge off. All right. But hopefully soon we'll be able to plant. Will we get some more grapes now? Yeah. Okay. Let's grab them. Uh, we could chuck them in. Oh, actually, yeah, we chuck them in this tank. See that? Yeah, that tank looks quite used. So we need it to be does. keeping an eye on that. Are we planting uh, in the autumn? I. Uh, hold on. I need to I need to check these grapes. Hang on, I need to check my journal. Yeah. Oh wow, okay, it's a it's a world map. 
Catch you later, Marcus. Thanks for stopping by. See you later, Marcus. Bye. Right, okay. Uh, white wines. Chardonnay. Chardonnay is a green screen grape uh, variety used in the production of white wine. The Chardonnay grape itself is neutral. Many of the flavors is commonly associated with the wine being derived from such influences as terroir and oak. Okay. Um, harvest and sell the grapes. Crush them. Sell grape must. Press. Does the, se does the season matter much yet? Oh, is that... I don't know. But I'm wondering whether with the Chardonnay we need to go for the malolactic fermentation because we, we we can buy that barrel. Or whether we just go straight to bottling, I don't know. It looks like we have to go through that process. Fermentation to malolactic fermentation. Yeah. Mm. Then we have a choice between aging and bottling. Well, let's have a look at our research tree then. Yeah. Uh, winery. There, yeah, malolactic fermentation. 10,000. Uh, it's a secondary fermentation, which uses using certain bacteria reduces the acidity. Okay. Okay. So we can't do that yet. Uh, no. We still can't afford it. We need a cleaning room. We need to clean these tools. Yeah. I've I agree. researched it. Now let's see how much it costs. 5,000. Another 5,000. Fuck! <laughs> That's fine. We'll sell a couple of bottles of wine. We'll be good. All right. Let's do it. Uh, seven new orders. Let's go. 18 is great. Oh, wow. Look at that discount. <laughs> one cent. <laughs> yeah. For one uh, bottle. Sell. Sell. Ooh, yeah. We're... Uh... Do we start saying we don't sell below 17 now? Uh, we'll do this 15 one now because we get a decent chunk of change out of that. All right. Then after that. All right. Okay. Uh, same again. Do we want to go for ripeness? Quality. Maybe we've got... Do we want to push the quality this time? <sighs> Ooh. F, it's a very chill game. Um, it requires a lot of thinking. So it depends whether you're doing what we're doing at the moment, which is drinking and playing, because... Uh, I can see this being uh, fun to just sit down on the couch with your wife. Like, you're on, the, you're on the stick, she's shouting out orders at you, and you're both sat there with a nice bottle of red. Good do. Good do. There's a nice evening. It's basically what we're doing. Essentially. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, yeah, do we try it? Do we go for something... Yeah, let's go for it. ...really good quality? Yeah. Alright, folks. I'm curious to see how it affects us. We've just made the same wine about three times now. That's true. That's true. Alright. We'll go for it. Okay, folks, we're going to need your suggestions uh, for names in chat here. I we... say we stick... We don't sell below 17 euros. Don't sell below 17. Okay. Most of them are getting over 17, so... like. Yeah. So we're going to go for a really high quality wine here now. So what should our what should our HD what, HD HD high quality? Yeah, our HD, oh. our ultra HD wine. Ah. <laughs> uh, Actually no, this is a 4K wine. Typical Friday night then. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's go. Uh okay. Okay. Let's see. Uh, we got six new orders. We'll sell at 18, sell at 17, and that's it. Yeah. The rest of the peasants can sit there and wait. We can ferment our new grapes. Okay, right. So. Do we again. seem to be able to drop the sweetness a bit more? Or can we? I think that was always the case. Like, the longer we ferment yeah. it, the more alcohol content there is. It's just, it makes it less sweet. Should we make, should we make this just, like, absolutely like, fortified? <laughs> <laughs> Kumna just telling it to put it, don't drink this backwards. Yeah. Uh, currently playing with mouse and keyboard. I've not actually tried it with controller. Somebody else has asked that same question today, though. So, I did say I might try it out. I might try it out. 
10 minutes or so and I might try that out. Okay. Let's, uh, let's just keep it as it is. We're just going to make exactly the same shit as we have done every single time. In fact, actually. Oh, I like it. It's in, it said Resident Vintage. Resident Vintage. I like that. That's good. That is good. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, that's too much tan in there. Okay. Yeah, our base tan, our base tannin's too high. It so. is. We need to find something to reduce the tannin. Yeah, maybe but some first. of the research. Maybe. It might. Oof, maybe graphs. the aging process reduces it a bit. Perhaps. Perhaps. Right, let's do this. Two new orders. Too low. Far too low. Yeah. That. Sorry, folks, we don't do that. We don't pedal with anything less than 17 euros a yeah. bottle. Especially when the next time we get seven new orders. Oh, who's this now? Agatha. It's Agatha all along! It's Agatha. <laughs> it's Agatha all along! <laughs> don't trust Agatha. Oh, cool. Okay. See, networking, Tom. You are right. Networking. You are right. Do I have to stomp the grapes with my bare feet and send him a pick? Is that kind of peculiar? Well. <laughs> a faded aristocrat. Good job we're making a very a good wine now, isn't it? You will never meet him. You will deal with me. <laughs> if he has a message for you, I will deliver it personally. Okay. Okay. This sounds like a pretty standard NDA to me. It's the it tall standard? lady. Like, you can't know who you're buying from. Maybe it's got something to do with that castle, actually. Yeah. It's Vlad. Yes. He's totally not a vampire. <laughs> Payment for the wine is not a problem. <laughs> Thank you so much for this. Okay. The assistant. All right, here we go. Better deals. We've got an 18, 17, 17, 17. That is it. Bring me your next office. Oh, here we go again. Art of divorce. <laughs> Have you listened to that podcast? Surely you're not talking about... <laughs> it sounds a stadium podcast. Live every Monday on um, YouTube and .com forward slash sounds a stadium podcast service all around the globe. There's the plug for you folks. Or maybe um, sounds a stadium sidecast quest, um, which comes out every Friday, unless you're a member, then you can get every Sunday. Yeah, shout out to our members tonight, actually. I noticed somebody's actually gone up to their two-month icon as well. Kumna is up to oh, the, yeah, uh, the black... Yeah, yeah, GRS. Me and Chris noticed that, yes. Nice! Yes, actually, yeah. Oh, wow, look at all you people, Ashley. We've got Kumna, we've got uh, GRS, Mini Dolan. Look at all of you with your black icons. I'm sorry I didn't call that out sooner. Thank you for your support again. Who invested in the game? It's just a podcast. I, I'm, it's, I'm invested in the wine, Richie. I'm invested yeah. in the wine. All right, here we go. Okay, um... Blah. Articles to read. No. One special order. What have we got? Um, Nebbiolo. Nebbiolo. We do not grow Nebbiolo because no. we are peasants <laughs> at wine. <laughs> we only grow one variety of grape. Why do you keep asking us for other things? We've got 1,500 bottles of 16 characters. <laughs> and yes. nobody wants to buy it. Alright, okay. Uh, more body. Less tannin. More body. More body. Let's do it. Yeah. We're going to go for it. Everybody keeps saying, oh, it needs more body. It needs more body. Now it's going to be, oh, it's got too many tannins. Like, too much tannin. 
Um, no, I'm going to uphold my standards and say that 16.99 yeah. is not 17 See, euros. I would been, I would have been, if that bottom one was like 16, I would have accepted it because it's 179 bottles. But I'm not giving you a seven quid discount. <laughs> Maybe that's where we're going wrong, but hey. We're, we're still making money. It's How fun. much... Oh, wait, it's winter. Uh, where are we in winter? We're on winter day five. Okay, it's about to switch over to spring, so we might as well plant now. Yeah. All right, we've agreed it's going to be Chardonnay. But we can't do the aging process, the second fermentation. Of the oh, plant. shit, yeah. So we might be better off just doing another plot of Barbara. For now, and we can do some. We can focus on the Chardonnay there. Yeah, the ground's pretty crappy for it. And we'll just sell it cheap. We've got a field doing nothing, so we we'll just right. make a lot and sell it cheap. All right, we'll plant low first. See what happens. Yeah. All right, we'll go for it. Let's we'll see what happens. Six bottles for the price of five. Free shipping to your door. Absolutely. Right. Uh, we can't do the suckering. We can do the weeding. Yeah, let's get some weeding. Oh, man. This is getting... This is getting close now. We need to expand our work area, I think, but... Yeah, that, that's oh, why we what? need to... We need to make... <laughs> oh, Paul. That's new. Paul. Paul. Uh, suckering... Oh shit, did our bottling machine break? Ah, it needs to be repaired. Ah. Okay. So we've been sat there just trying to grow grapes and like not make any wine. Why is it going to be so difficult? There you go. Sell some more. Yeah. Oh my god. What? <laughs> uh, we can't fit that right? I can't fit it in. Oh, it's going to cost us three grand to repair the bottle. What? But we need to be able to bottle our wine. Oh, man. Unless we just sell the grapes. Couldn't we just sell the grapes before? Actually, can we just sell some wine that we've got? We might have to take a bit of a hit, hit on this. Uh -huh. It costs us three grand. But it's a really good wine. It's pretty good. It's okay. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Ah, oh. oh, shit. Who's this? Right, we're Hipster looking motherfucker. I can't fit, quote ad, I can't fit it in. <laughs> Too true. She's my protege. He looks like a beer guy. <laughs> looks a bit like me. He, I, was, I was just about to make that, actually. I was about to well, say I mean, he's got be, I don't have a, I don't have earrings or tattoos. He has the so. beard. Yeah, he has hair and a beard. <laughs> That's what it is. That's the comparisons. Ah, he's a podcast listener. Ah. He's the owner of a wine bar downtown, the Blue Mile. He lived in Berlin for a few years and then decided to open his own place here. Let's sell some wine to him. <laughs> Uni students. They want cheap. See, I called it. The second field can be can be off. All right. Fucks on the cheap mass-produced wine. <laughs> we'll keep the primary field for the good stuff. This is the stuff you pick up from Tesco, uh, from from Tesco's cheap, like their yeah. own brand. Now. This is where we stop pretending we have a cheap and expensive skew, and we actually just have one. <laughs> All right, okay. Uh, do I want to sucker it, or do I want to clean our... Oh, my do God. We need... Do we need to clean at the moment? Um, Do we need to clean the wine crusher? It's dirty. Do we want dirty wine? Let's what? Upgr oh, my God. <laughs> Where are we supposed to get this money from? Uh... I'm not no, I'm not selling for that. That's that's a joke. Right. 
Let's drop. Our, I think let's drop our standards to fifteen rather than seventeen. Fifteen. Wow. Okay. All right. Oh, but only on big big orders, though. So. All right. So Richie is our business development yeah. manager. Uh, <laughs> it's got to go there. Yeah, because we just need to start shifting bottles at some point. We need to start shifting stock fast. Yeah. All right. Uh, we can get weeding in, or we can get suckering in. I can't even remember what suckering is. Um. Okay, apparently it's useful. Yeah, let's go in. We can't weed then, though. One what special we need order. Let's get that bottle machine repaired as soon as we can. Uh, they all want white. They all want white apart from this fucking aging woman. Why did I buy that shop, Richie? Why did I buy the shop? I don't know if this time it's the shop. Yeah, we lost 10 grand on the shop, but. All right. Oh man, we need to repair the bottling machine. Like we really, we need to. Re oh my god, what's happened now? What? Where's the repair gone for the bottling machine? Oh, thank God for that. Right, let's get that place straight away. We have the money. <laughs> All right, let's go. No, go away. We, we need don't want to go progress right now. We just need to make some wine. Stop this. Stop it. Ah, he's providing us with NFTs. Yeah. A one of a kind painting. Right. That's 19 crimes done. That's one bottle down, guys. I've got about a fair bottle ago. Fair enough. You I know, only have one bottle, so... You know me, Richie. I just get through this stuff too far too quickly. <laughs> I'm like that with beer. Like... Agatopedia. I have a dog. The dog has entered the room. Hi, right, baby. No, the doggy's gone. The dog is gone. Alright. It's summer. We are growing our grapes. The dog's back. <laughs> uh, some good looking grapes. There are some decent looking grapes. I'd eat them. Yes, yeah, Sam. I'd eat them. Alright. What are we doing? We're cleaning. We're cleaning things. We're selling wine. Down to 15 euros. Okay. Uh, how many bottles do we actually have left of this stock, by the way? Oh, we still got like 1,100 bottles of it. Can I do anything with these uh, still on this list? Because this is actually really annoying that we've got these here. Uh, is, there any, is there any way I can... Um, There's got to be something you can do with it. Can we put? Do we just put it in the cellar? I don't know. Are we just moving into the cellar out the way? We don't. Oh. I'd sell the grace. We don't want to do that. We don't want to do that. Yeah. Okay. Ah, uh, let's press forward. Yep. Here we go. Right, we can bottle now. All right. So. We're working on Who's our new... That? Here we go, chat. Here we go. <laughs> right. So, we agreed this was going to be called Resident Village. <laughs> Vintage. What am I doing? Vi Vintage. There we go. Ah, oh, It's going to have to be Resident Vintage. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Evening, Joey. I hope you're welcome, doing welcome. well. Uh, we're going to change up the style of this one. Let's actually make it look a little bit fancier, I reckon. Yeah. Let's go with a screw I cap. Like <laughs> like, nah, if we're going to make it look fancy, let's go with a cork. Cork. Okay. Cork. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we're going to go with Resident Vintage. Resident Vintage. We've got three bottle, three bottle types. We've only got the thin neck like this. I don't like the thin neck. I don't like it either. I'm with you on that. I'm with you. Uh, I still feel like the Bordeaux looks... 
It's the most classic yeah. wine bottle look, isn't it? Yeah. Um, light, it's got to be a dark bottle again. I don't even want a green. I just want a dark bottle. No. It's got to be dark. Dark glass. If it's green glass... Yeah, nah, that doesn't look right. No. Okay. Dark. Right, so... Actually, this, this is actually green glass. Is it actually? Hold on. Yeah. I've got to check my second bottle. Uh, it's it's, it's like a very dark green. Right. God Hero 25 in chat. Uh, label. So, if right. it's going to be I'll... resident vintage. We need a castle. We, we need a castle. castle. Okay, okay. Yeah. All right, okay. Is that scroll... Was that scrolling the wrong way? It is scrolling the wrong way, yeah. Uh, we need an ominous looking castle. Ominous. Yeah. We that... want people scared to drink it. Because it's so good. I feel like that's the only ominous looking one yeah. there. Right. And do we want... I feel like I want white on black. White on... white on, Yeah, I was thinking it's white on black. White on black, like that. Yeah. Or that do we want grey on or white on? Can we get... I think grey because of the stonework of the castle. You want grey on. Okay. Yeah. And then the background. Do we What shape do we want for the background? Do we want... I like that we cross one. One of the cross this ones. cross one. Yeah, I don't like that. Uh, shield looking one. A label. <laughs> no, that, that goes outside the edges. Something like that. That one's alright. That's right. Yeah. Oh, that's really good to hear, Joey. I'm glad to hear that, mate. Oh, congratulations. Top man. Raise the glass to Joey. Cheers, Joey. Happy Friday. Actually, uh, does it matter that much if the castle goes out the edge, edge of the Does it? Round? Does it so matter? In the dark bottle, it's a light colour. Does it matter? Um... Yeah, but if it's an intentional thing. Um, now, see, like that, where it's the little bits at the bottom that look, that look rubbish. But if it was like the triangle, it might work. If it's the triangle, like that. Yeah. Oh, actually, I see what you mean. Actually, that's not too bad. That's the dark. That's not the, too um, bad. Yeah. The dark color of the bottle makes it like stand out still. Good evening, folks. Welcome to Sounds of Stadia, where we stream on many nights per the week, and we spend most of our streams deciding what labels to put on our wine. <laughs> Has absolutely no impact whatsoever on the uh, sales. <laughs> God, here uh, we're not. We don't teach academic stuff here. Um, Tom is actually a teacher. I am actually a teacher. Um, yeah, that's why we call him the techie teacher. And, uh, he is in fact a teacher. Yeah, Joey. Joey is one of my uh, one of my former students. So he's a he's a good lad. Um, okay, so let's have a look what that looks like. So, ooh, actually. Actually, yeah. No, if you if you imagine you got all the other stuff that goes in the name, like the text and stuff, that yeah, like, res resident vintage. Yeah. <laughs> all right, uh, label style then. So it's the vintage label right there. I feel like it's called resident yeah. vintage. It's got to be the vintage yeah. label, hasn't it? That, yeah, that's good, that's good yeah. It's got it's got to be that. It's got to be that. Ah shit, the cost. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um, it's not that much more. We can drop. We can drop it down. We can drop it down. Uh, we could go for like half. Just bottle half. Yeah, we don't need to do the whole. The remaining. Yeah. Okay. So what's that? That's eighteen. Uh, eight. Yeah. Forty-three. That's gonna be as close to half as it's gonna get. Yeah. Confirm. Pished. I mean, yeah. I. I there. Definitely getting there. I. I have. I have drank an entire bottle of red at this point, so I'm certainly feeling it. Um. Okay. So the brico. We're gonna get the brico. We're gonna get crop thinned. Thin, 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 thin. Yeah, let's get the weed. Let's get the weeding done as well. Let's get the weeding. Oh, we can. Oh, this is where we absolutely bankrupt ourselves. Uh, other orders we can sell, 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 sell. Oh, hang on, sell, sell. Yeah, sell. Okay. All right. We might be making money now, boys. Let's go. No. Go away, Sophie. What's wrong? Right. 
The Velvet Vineyards. Fake it till you make it. Je suis désolé, Emma. I rushed here as fast as I could to warn you. Ah, uh, it's a bit of a trash piece. Ah, uh, yeah. It'll be like the, the, the divorce here. It will be. Uh, You're absolutely right. And the guy who's sitting insulting her, like... Yeah. We don't need to care about it. We're just focusing on making good wine. Yeah. That's all we need to do. Nope. A mediocre wine that is presented as good wine. Absolutely. Right, let's taste this. Yeah. Let's see what we've got here, folks. Oh, we need to sell some more. Yeah, we agreed above 15. Yeah. Uh, how we're many bottles have we got left of that? 988. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> yeah, we just need to get that sold. Right. So <laughs> that, <laughs> I'm not going to lie. With the amount of 16 characters we've got there, it's nice to see Resident Vintage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's quite nice seeing that further down there. All right, let's go. Okay. All right, let's taste it. <laughs> oh. oh! That's not good wine. <laughs> Needs more body. <laughs> so apparently Resident Vintage is, uh, is, is pig piss. <laughs> yeah. Right, we sell it. We sell it cheap. We just get rid we of sell it. Yeah, just, just, just get rid of it. Tastes like McCaptain and Blackberry. Okay. Alright. Yeah. Right, let's bottle some of us. We need a bottle, don't we? We need to ship it and we need to ship it fast. <laughs> yeah. Let's just. Oh, it's, let's the, it's, just no, it's, the, it's the rest of the vet resident vintage, yeah. isn't it? So we'll just do it. Let's get it bottled and we just sell it for what everyone's, everyone's offering. Like. There we go. Okay. Okay. Let's go. We will have to put something through the aging process soon, I think. Yeah. I almost want to just try and get a bit of a cash reserve. <laughs> 56. Oh, man. That is... Ooh. Off. Okay, mind you. Okay, fifteen fifty. Bear in mind, we were selling for like ten before. So ah, we just first, sell it. We just wife. sell it. We we sell it. We whoever sell it, yeah. whoever wants it, we sell it. Yeah. Oh, that's a nice thousand in there. Yeah. Let's get the thousand. Yeah, it's supermarket wine. That's what it is. You're absolutely right. Okay, let's go again. So we're starting to pick the... Oh, are we picking the Princip? Oh, no, we're not. We're picking the Bricko again. Yeah. All right. What do we sell now? We're going to go... Sell, 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 sell. Eh. Yeah, I'll do. Yeah. Hi. I'm here to observe the uh, next generation of wine experts. Says, this is what the server Baker family um, diners I get dinners, I guess. Yep. Yeah. You know it. Lady D, though, she she go for um, a better vintage. Ooh, this is a nice thou. Oh, we sold a thousand in one order. Uh, 134, no, a thousand, thousand euros. Oh, a thousand, yeah, it's a thousand euros. Somebody yeah. wants to buy the one bottle of Resident Vintage, I'm happy with that. Yeah. That person, he's one of them. I only buy from them um, bespoke, like artis artisanal like, vineyards, and I only buy direct. It's like, yep, right. this is just cheap shit. <laughs> we have 5,000 now. So now we can finally get the cleaning room. I think we should check. 
Oh, well, I was about to say, we <laughs> check probably what's going on with our bottling plant and stuff. Because that's, we don't want to fall in that trap again. Here so we go. The tank is it, almost dead. Yes, it needs cleaning. So I've bought the cleaning room. Uh, what else have we got? Um, oh, Sheen's cleaning. Cleaning. It's all about cleaning. It's all about the cleaning, Richie. Yeah. It all costs money. All right, uh, we can harvest. Well, we can't. <laughs> we got this tank. Yeah, it's put in the clean tank. Put it in the clean tank. There we go. Right, the princeep. Oh, we can harvest the other ones. Right, what's more important here? Harvesting these or cleaning? Well, that's gonna take three turns. But I don't know, do they degrade? If we just leave them on the That's farm. what I'm worried about. Okay, let's crack on with yeah, let's this. let's harvest them. Yeah. We need to focus on actually getting more, um, more land now, I think. Do you reckon? Yeah. We're actually not well, doing too bad with money at the moment, like in terms of um, the progress that we're making. But it's still 20,000 to upgrade the board. Yeah. What does the tractor actually do? Speeds up harvest. Okay, that could be useful. Yeah. Right. Just, 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 just stop with the story. Please. Just for a minute. Ooh, 1,900. We'll take that. I don't care if we're just selling off our wine at this point. I just want to make, make the money. Yeah. <laughs> Keep us afloat, please. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Get that harvested. Nice. Good quality, that's nice. Okay. Right. Uh we can oh we need to get all the cleaning sorted. Hang on. So clean. Uh, actually that doesn't need cleaning. The bottling machine doesn't need cleaning. If, if we have the cleaning room, does it just do it automatically? I don't know. Oh no. No, it, it gives you cards when you click it. Yeah, I think I think it aids in the cleaning process. So we need to clean the tank. And we need to clean the screw press. Yeah. So I think if we go through those first. And the tank's only one turn as well. Yeah. So, so Which is fine. Old. That's okay. But I'm liking the orders we're getting. We you are. literally can't keep up with them at the moment, so that's good. This is Fine, okay, alright. Sell, sell, sell. Sell, 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 sell. I'm up to 7k. 8k now. Hey, it's Satoshi! Hey, do you want some wine? <laughs> He's back! How you doing, mate? <laughs> Meow. Cat. So we're learning a little bit more about the backstory of the other vineyard. The, yeah. the sort of like the protagonists. Antagonists, sorry. Antagonists. I always get that wrong. Uh, methanol scandal. Oh, what? They were lacing the, the wine with methanol. Spike your wine with illegal doses of methanol to compensate for inability to produce it properly. So yeah, if you're going to spike your wine with an alcohol, use ethanol. That's that's drinking alcohol. Methanol, that'll kill you. Yep. Make you go blind. <laughs> <laughs> Although that, that being said, did you know actually in ethanol they actually put an additive in there, um, which is why you can't get 100%. And oh, really? the reason of the additive is to make it taste absolutely fucking horrible. <laughs> so you're telling me without that additive, not too bad. Well, yeah, it's alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> it's drinking alcohol. But they put the ad ad the reason for the additive is is actually tax reasons. Right, I see. So when I buy if I buy any ethanol in at work, if you buy it with the additive, it's taxed differently because it's not classified. For, it's not suitable for drinking. Oh right, okay. Right, let's crush some grape. 
Crush some grep. Yeah. Man, the orders are absolutely rolling in right now. Yeah. Can okay. we... Is there a way of ordering them? Uh, we can order it by... By biggest sale. Yeah, there we go. Biggest sale. Yeah, I'm just thinking, can we order it by, like... Like, price per bottle? Is that the orders are coming in now, so is that being picky again? Uh, price per bottle is this one, the one I've currently got selected, which is yeah. it shows the uh, the value, the discount, the value they're, they're willing to pay per bottle. Okay. So if we go through that order, we're always making sure we're making the most per bottle there. Yeah. Okay, right. So now we can prune. We'll prune our Bricko, because our Bricko is always decent. Um... Let's see. We need, I think we, instead of experimenting too much, we need to focus on doing what we know works. Yeah. Although saying that, the qu crap quality wine didn't seem to have any real difference in the value. Not really. Not really. Let's, uh... Ripeness. Let's bump it up and get loads of buds. <laughs> Alright, we got our sales going. Got our money rolling in, which is good. Yeah. Let's ferment. Okay. Oh, hello. Right. Hello. We've got another type of... Uh... Oh, yeah. Okay. Alright. Black pepper. We've done the Brico yes. native, but we haven't done the Princip Pr Princip native yet. Let's go for it. Let's do it. All right, fermentation. Uh, go for long fermentation because it's cutting down the sweetness. It is. So this is this is gonna knock people. It's got low. Oh. Yeah, I think it's not good for the grape. Right. So I think we can get to about eleven point eight percent on this one. That's fine. Let's try that. It's still two and two. Uh, we don't want too much tannin. I don't think. Let's try that. Yeah. All right. More so sales. Probably get. It feels like we need to get more grape varieties, but they're very expensive. They are. Actually, how much was the um, second ferment fermentation process Ooh. for the Chardonnay? Uh, we'll have a look. The problem is the fact that you have to pay for the like the technology ch to train it and then buy the machine yeah. as well. Yeah. But we have the technology, we just need to buy the machine. We just need to build it. Oh yeah. no, don't talk to me about diseases. Don't implement disease as well now. <laughs> We're just starting to get going. We're talking about introducing a second skew oh, of wine. Oh, come on. Don't do this. Downy mildew is a common disease. I transcend the planes of existence every time I meditate. I am sorry to be the one to break this to you, but we are all playing our roles in this, and this is a video game. My script is particularly zen. I kinda like it. Bless. That's meta. That's meta. Better treat my vines periodically then. Let me put a reminder on my phone. How about the diseases that I cannot prevent but only cure? Alright. Oh, so it turns out Gianni, the, uh, the, the onologist, is an arsonist. <laughs> what? Or he did he burn down someone else's? He was the one who burnt, he, he set fire to the other place. Oh, wow. But he knows his wine. 
You will receive my resignation letter by tomorrow. It's been a pleasure working with you, Emma. Goodbye. Nah, nah, that's not, that's not fire. I know he's a bit of an asshole and he's a bit of an arsonist, but he's helped us. He has. If you agree to stop burning down vineyards, you can keep your job. <laughs> sell. Sell. Um, right, okay, we were going to look at the training for... 10,000. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. We've got the grapes and we can't use them, so... So how much does the machine cost? Um... Is it a different tank? Do they ferment in the tank? I don't know. Uh, we'll is it somewhere. in the tool shed? I don't believe it is. No, no I wouldn't have thought so. No. Uh, warehouse? No, it's just the rooms. Guided tours, we need to get there. That's what we should have invested in. It's only 5,000. Yeah. <sighs> I feel like it wouldn't bring in much money until you've got a decent sized farm. Mm. Yeah. He's our his one field. There's the other. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we'll That'd go. be fifty pounds, please. <laughs> uh let's get this weeding we let's get the weeding in, yeah? Yeah, let's get Oh look at that. Perfect. Nice. Nice. Love it when a plan comes together like that. Right, folks, I think we can go one more round, get some grapes, get them sold as wine, obviously. And then I'm probably going to call it quits just because this wine is hitting me very hard right now. You can probably see that on camera that I'm, I'm actually yeah, hot. I'm, I'm holding on to my desk. <laughs> <laughs> really? It's hitting you that bad? I'm just like, I'm slumped to the right. I've just been slumped to the right for a while. Uh, I've just realized, like, I've just, I've just become very self-aware of it. But I did promise Holly that I wouldn't be like mega yeah. mega drunk, to, like yeah. hungover tomorrow because we've actually got things to do. So uh, we've been gone for like two and a half hours. Yeah. So. yeah, yeah. All right, here we go. Okay, Barbara, twenty twenty four. It's the future, folks. Uh, body and tannins. We want to try and just balance it out, really. Yeah, we that, do what we know works. Yeah, that seemed to work quite well. We're at a point where we're actually struggling to sell our wine. We physically can't process enough orders. Oh my god, are we suit? 234 bottles. Are we still... We've still got... We've still got 16 characters. We've still got one bottle of Sips of Stadia... <laughs> Sips yeah. Reserve and Sips of Stadia Premium. The original. We're still sitting on 1,400 of Resident Vintage. <laughs> Oh man, mind you, it was it was piss. To be fair, yeah. it's right. selling though. We just like we got people who want it. We just can't sell it to them. All right, making decent money from it though, which is good. Yeah, we're not losing too much here, folks. Oh, here we go. Here we go. The malolactic. Okay. Here we go. What's this? Drop the acidity. Right, that's good. Malolactic. Okay, got it. What's this about? Lactic acid. It occurs in almost all red and some whites. Reduce the acidity value. Okay. Let's do it. Long. Let's knock that acidity right down to two. Yeah. Make it really fruity. Nice. Get a nice fruity red. I'm sure somebody will buy that. Yeah, it probably makes quite sell quite well. I mean, might do. This this piss water selling so. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't really think that Resident Vintage would actually end up being piss water, but hey, whatever. Yeah. Oh dear. 
All right, here we go. Oh, oh. Anna's house. Oh, of course. Take the fruity wine to the white woman. Yes, I went there, folks. I'm sorry. That's what a bottle and half of wine does to you. To be fair, I know I prefer fr uh, quite fruity. I'm not very good with dry, like when it comes to yeah. whites and stuff. I, I prefer dry when it's white. Uh, I don't. I don't like sweet wines. Yeah. I'm not a fan of like um, fizzy wines as well. So like things like a uh, champagne or yeah. prosecco, not for me. Those carbonated sparklings. Yeah. I'm the same with ciders as well. You should talk to Kiara now. Yeah. She's she's a member of the consortium. Okay. All that right. Sounds like a cult. It does. It sounds a little bit like we're going to be doing some black market dealings now. I've just got um. I'm thinking about hot fuzz. <laughs> For the greater good. <laughs> the greater good. <laughs> All right. Okay. Oh man. Okay. Let's see. Let's sell. I feel like when we hit that 20k, we should get the shop back. <laughs> yeah. Does the shop enable us to sell more as well? I don't know. I don't know. As well. Because if it lets us sell, if it's just automating it, then it takes two seconds to click through. This but, is true. But if it lets us sell, fulfill more sales, then that's what we want. Absolutely. Because we're literally sat on a thousand bottles of wine that we can't get rid of. Oh, wait, what? Okay, we can age. Evening, Link. Evening. Oh, we need to buy some barrels. Can we we, do, we barrels? need to buy the barrels. Okay. Nope, fifteen grand. That's an expensive barrel. Can we not just take can we not just take a loan out? Can we, oh loan? Okay, we can take oh. a loan. Oh, right. Let's drop it down on you. We just want to take a loan out to cover the. We just want we just want a cheap year, right? Okay. Yeah. Uh, so if we take out forty grand, we have to pay back forty two. That's actually quite good. That is really good. <laughs> yeah, like get the loan. <laughs> So we now have 40 grand to Okay, spend. we let's have 40 get, grand. Let's get some upgrading. Let's, let's go nuts. Let's fucking buy some shit, boys. Let's go. Okay, so right. Small casks. Let's get our shop. <laughs> let's get the shop back. Right. Thank you, Richie. Let's do it. Let's yeah. do it. Okay. Let's go. Back to the shop. Get the shop back. Excellent. Yeah. I like where this is going. Um, right. Can we buy more land? Oh, that's so. That's a 20, twenty grand. Years. Twenty grand. Uh, so right. we can age. Okay. When you submit like this, it means we're in for another technical lesson, right? Let's have a look. Okay, so aging. Yeah, Link. Um, I think me and Tom can both agree that we're having an absolute blast. Yeah. It could, the wine talking. It, could, it could be the wine talking. To be fair. Okay, so here we go, Richie. It's the aging that adds more to the body. Right, that's okay. what we want then. That is what we yeah. want. So we wanted to aim for more body. So. Aging will increase the body value, but how long is it going to take? Oh, to be fair, actually, it really doesn't matter. If it's one turn per notch, it goes to three turns. That's fine. Yeah, that's, yeah, I'm okay with that. For a better vintage. Yes, let's do it. More body. It needs more body. We've got more body. All right, let's... Let's go have Chardonnay. Uh, we need to sort something out with that. So we'll sell some more resident vintage. We'll sell our 16 characters. Um, and we're still sitting on... Oh, shit. Uh, actually, I think I'll cancel that 16 characters and get that 1.3 grand. Let's do that. Okay. Uh, can we actually change the grape types? I hope we can. Planting. I, what, I think once you have to harvest them first. Right, okay. So we come back around to that then. Yeah, because you can't just plant some seeds and go, this is not the flower I want. Change. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's go. Next. All right. Crop thinning. More crop thinning. Okay, yeah, we got the shop back, so it's doing the selling automatically now, which is good. So we're just getting the money in. Uh, interest per turn. Oh, okay, actually, so that's quite good. So it's, we're, we're paying the loan off per turn anyway. Okay. That's, that's, fine. that's fine. As long as, we, as, long okay. as we keep selling our wine. It's... 
Right. Oh. Uh oh. Uh, to Devasa. Uh oh. Wait, be about ambush you at the beauty spa. This seems to be a wine cellar. It does seem to be a wine cellar. You must be really confused or very, very drunk, Emma. Okay. Filippo should be thrown into jail for fraud. How's that for intel? This changes everything. So, Link, being as you've just joined us here, um, you've missed a lot of the story. I've got to be honest with you. I've been far too we've interested missed... in drinking the we've wine. We've missed a lot of the story. <laughs> so, um... I, I think Endless Mode is the way to go. The story's good yeah. for getting you, you bearings, but when I jump in this myself, I'm going Endless Mode. Yeah. I just want to chill out and make a vineyard. Yeah, absolutely. All right, that's the bottle done. I don't think I'm going to crack the second one tonight. Wait. Oh, you... uh, I thought you'd already cracked the second bottle. Nah. First bottle it's down. Say, it's when you said, oh, that's the bottle done. It's like, bloody hell. Yeah. <laughs> like... All right. So, right. I'm going to make a quick trip to the bathroom before we wrap this up. Um, just because I'm... In the meantime, yep. um, chat, <laughs> I want you to come up with a, new, a name for our new wine. Because we need... We've had... What was it? Sounds um, sips of stadia, the um, stadia vintage. We've had, I'm forgetting the other one. We've had resident um, vintage. Um, so yeah, we need to come up with a good name for our new wine, and they also come up with some design ideas for the um, label. And while you wait, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and do all the things. Were you in the um, Malbec or the Red Blend? I um, think I'm not sure what that means. Malbec's a type of wine, isn't it? Um, I'm drinking the Cabernet Sauvignon. I'm not sure what style of wine Tom's drinking, but it's called 19 Crimes. And it's actually a very nice wine, so I recommend it. So yeah, I want, I want to hear your names for the new wine and also logo ideas. Here, 2077 is a good year. 2077 um, is definitely a good year, although we are limited to 16 characters. And he's back. Yes, I can read chat. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what style of wine is um, 19 Crimes, Tom? 19 Crimes. Is it a red blend. It is a Southeastern Australian. Blend. Yes, yeah, so it's a red blend. It is a red blend. Well done, Link. Link absolutely called it. Oh, wow, okay. And yeah, as I said, mine is a Cabernet Sauvignon. It is very out. good. It is very, very good. Uh, what if your red blends were reds of Stadia? Reds of Stadia, okay. Right, let's go for it. So, we've got our aged uh, Barbera. So this is a good wine. <sighs> this is a good wine. Oh, we're, we're hoping it's a good wine. Synthetic cork, the high quality yeah. synthetic is a bit weird. When the actual cork is cheaper. No, the cork's like, well, yeah, the cork. Like the, it's half the price. Like it is. Why would you go synthetic? What's so, the advantage? I don't think there is an advantage. So I think yeah. cork is better. 
and increases the cost of the bottle. Yeah. Um, synthetic. We've got agglomerated in the middle. There's always screw cap. <laughs> We don't go. For I mean, I am. I'm drinking the screw cup, so I'm. I'm not. In real yeah. life, I'm not. I don't care. It's that a much glass that. stopper. Yeah, a killer queen red. Mm, killer queen I don't red. Think I, fit, I don't think it fits into sixteen characters. Sixteen though. characters. Let's see. Uh, bottle style. I think we still agree that Bordeaux is probably the way to go. Yeah. Uh, so. Color. We have a nice black. Uh, in fact, we could go for green for this one. You reckon? We could do could do but i suppose if it's going to be called killer, mm, killer it's too light of a green for me it is i agree i think that green that green works better with a white yeah where like a darker green like this um castellero del diablo is a mm -hmm. bit of a darker green so that yeah. works a bit more for red i'm with you i'm with you uh let's try the name first actually let's try let's try uh, killer queen redfords oh yep yeah. Just don't think there's any B. If there was a B, I'd go for it. Uh, that's a good point. There's yeah. flowers. There's freaking chickens and ge geese. Yeah. We were going to go for the cat at one point. We were. Ginger cat. Ginger cat. Uh, I don't think this is ginger cat, though. Nah, this is not ginger cat. Exactly 16 characters. You're absolutely right. Uh, I could go for the logo actually, like this, and we could go for like um, a yellow label with a black or black on yellow. We'll try it one way, one way around or the other. I think the other way will work. Better. You reckon the other way? So black. Yeah, bear in mind the width. Oh the label shit! Go on. So oh. <laughs> My bad. That's fine. Sorry, folks. Right. Yeah. So because the label's white. The background we want um of black we want the background black okay we need to we need to invest in the shop winery so we can get better paper for labels um yeah, background we want black we want this in yellow is that the right yellow is there another yellow can we go with pink i get pink I'm just thinking that a yellow makes a thing look like a white wine. I'm okay. Make okay. Sure people know it's a red. For anything like a red tone, that's it's not too light, so people might think it's a rosa. But yeah. mm. killer queen red. Yeah, I like that. Look good. What do you think, chat? We happy with this? Happy with this style? Yeah, we need to sort that paper out, though, on yeah. it. Yeah, it's just like someone's printed some A4. <laughs> just cut it out. Absolutely. All right, let's crack on with that. Okay. We're going to taste it, of course, though. Let's see how this does. Ooh. This better be good. I know. We. Oh, what have we got here? We've got some... Oh, we got talked about disease before. We did. Oh, disease? oh, look at this. Oh, that's oh, a grape. Manky Treatment. grapes. We've got some powdery mildew. Okay. Oh, that's not too bad. Why can't we do powdery mildew? Have we not researched that? I don't know. I don't know, Richie. I don't know. Uh, Maybe click on the tool tip on the right hand side, see if it takes us somewhere interesting. Hold up. Hmm. The thing is, we don't want preventative and more curative but even maybe then... we can maybe we can't cure it yeah maybe it's too late maybe we need to actually get it in before ah shit all right brico barbera vines got infected by powdery mildew okay right okay okay look i, I say click that tool tip and see if it takes us what it takes us to oh it just takes us there just takes us there oh. yeah um, ah, crap. Okay, right. 
let's uh let's taste this killer queen red we're gonna uh do this killer queen red we're gonna bottle it and then we're gonna wrap it up for the night yeah because uh starting to bleed money again as well we are and we have a loan to pay as well <laughs> all right let's go it's better be good wine what we get oh <laughs> oh god that's shit <laughs> What have we done? The acidity is too low. Oh, we, we took the acidity right down, thinking it needs to be higher. <laughs> ah, Damn it. Right, we'll figure this out eventually. So the acidity's got to be higher. Yeah. To be fair, is... Oh, do you know what it is? The stars what? must tell us where it's optimal. Yeah. So the acidity for this was full. So we need something that's... Not sweet, low in tannins, more full body than we we've as po physically possible right now. Can I just add and that keep, the f with keeping this? It the tastes like leather. It tastes like leather. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes like leather, folks. Mm -mm. It tastes like leather. So if um, it's like drinking your wallet. <laughs> if you have a leather wallet, or gents, if you have a pair of work shoes around and you fancy a. Uh, Trying to taste what this wine tastes like. Just um, just suck on the toe of your shoe. So, um, I feel we should apologise to the developers of Killer Queen Black for making a shit wine that parodies their game. Yeah, sorry folks. That's not good. That's not good at all. Right. Yeah, here we go. So see, we've got... um, We could see where we've hit all these yeah. different points before. So, so we can see... it needs see... to be really acidic, actually, for this grape. Yeah, very highly acidic. And the typicity as well. It's just the body we've yeah. just got to experiment with. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Learning points. Learning points. Right, folks. Um, yeah. I'm going to harvest some grapes. I'm going to start thinking about wrapping this up. You're very much in one more turn mode, aren't you? I absolutely am. That's still making That's a decent selling. bit of cash. It is. But we are also hemorrhaging money. <laughs> yeah, we're bleeding 1700 a month. Oh, shit. Most of this is going to the bank as well. F fuck. Oh, that's not good. Oh, God. Oh, no. All right. We might be starting an endless playthrough next time we do this. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, we, that's it. It's over. The dream is dead. <laughs> well. Thank you for joining us here at Sounds of Stadia as we... Um, Bankrupted the vineyard we, that we got for nothing. <laughs> we ran this vineyard into the ground. We got... I mean, what we were working for... We got about five years worth of work out of us, so... No! It was going so well. <laughs> It's about the friends we made along the way, Tom. <laughs> it is. It's all about the friends we made along the way. Yeah. It's all about the drink we drank along the way. Yeah. You know, I'm feeling good. Okay, the business is do done. Let's just go down to a wine cellar and just drink ourselves. <laughs> just, 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 just drink what's left, eh? Yeah. Even if it is that shitty uh, mildewy grapes. <laughs> yeah. Well, fantastic. All right. Well, that's been. That is actually a perfect time to wrap up. <laughs> It really is, really is. Can't you can't yeah. script it any better than that. So that's uh that's hundred days. That's hundred days, folks. Yeah. Uh hope you've enjoyed the stream anyway. Um yeah, Richie, I've had an absolute blast with that to be fair, I guess. <laughs> like I don't know whether it's the drinking or just the game, but I like I could just sit I back and just enjoy that sort of stuff. I think it's a combination of the drink in the game and the fact that we're streaming it and chat's been awesome all yes. night, so Yeah, I'd agree with you there. Um but yeah, that's been great. It's been great. Uh, I guess we'll call an end to it there and um, go wrap up and have a bit of a weekend, I suppose, really. Uh, be sure to check out. We're going to be recording the podcast again on Sunday, so be sure to check out the next episode of the Sensor Daily Podcast when it releases on Monday. And we won't give you any spoilers this week, but obviously we will be recording a side quest as well, won't we, Richie? Yes, we will be. Uh, mm. We haven't settled on what the topic's going to be. Um, so I, can't, I literally can't spoil it for you at this point. Okay. But um, we did release an episode today. We did. Where we talk about the pandemic and how that might have affected Stadia. So if you haven't checked that out, you can head over to the this YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. Go give that a look. Fantastic. And 
definitely think it was um quite a quite an insightful topic i think one that um yeah. that i don't believe has been discussed too much as well but you know it's, i enjoy it's talking about we've it we've discussed it yeah in sparity but we haven't actually like sat i don't think anyone's actually sat down and went okay let's bring this all this information together in a single episode Absolutely, yeah. And if you want to get an, uh, if you want to get hold of side side quest earlier as well, sorry guys, the drink is talking. Um, then be sure to check out our membership options as well. You can check those down below right now. Uh, starting from as little as ninety nine pence, you can join the Sands of Steady crew, and you could be in with access to all of the content nice and early as well. We do offer it a good. We offer it the day that you actually finish editing it. Same same yes. as. It's usually on the Literally, Sunday. Literally, I finish editing it, then I schedule it for that day. So. <laughs> Which is a pretty good deal. Uh, you also get access to all of the emotes that Richie's just thrown into chat as well, alongside the badges that you can see against our lovely members' names. And thank you once again to all of our members for all of your support. We really do appreciate every single one of you. Um, again, depending on how you feel, you can always tweak your level up and down as well. Yeah. Um, we just want to make sure that all of our content is accessible, no matter how you sit financially. As it sounds, we actually have two um, first looks, which are currently exclusive to members. Um, Chris did a SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom first look, and I've done a Dragon Quest XI first look. Fantastic. So you can get those straight away if you're members as well. Um, but that's all we've got time for tonight, folks. That's been 100 days. Um, I've finished drinking a bottle of wine, and I need to sleep. <laughs> I've and... also finished, finished a bottle of wine, and I need to sleep as well. We've been Sansa Stadia. Thank you so much for tuning in tonight, folks. Uh, I'm going to wrap up with a bit of, bit of a quick outro anyway. But um, yes, have a good weekend. I'm terrible. I'm terrible at this. Goodbye. Cheers. Bye-bye.